I love <laughs> getting getting that new mail sound. You ever you ever get like text messages or um, uh, push notifications or anything based on an app, and it's the most unuseful like message ever. It's just like oh, you got you got news. The only one I think I've got that for is like my government account for obvious reasons. Anyway, three, two, one. Hello everybody, welcome to the stream. It is the BN Dow stream today on this fine 21st of October 2024. I hope you're having a wonderful week and we'll have a wonderful week ahead of you. My week has been pretty good. Pretty good. I feel like I've done lots of stuff. Like always. It's always been that. So, <laughs> you know, you know the drill. It's always a... It's always busy, but no, I hope you're having a cool, cool, uh, almost, uh, Halloween. It's the 21st, so it's all that's coming up, but, uh, yeah, power went out immediately before the stream. Dang it! No more power outages. It's all, uh, just loud. Did I just get a rewards enabled on this channel? I run this channel, what the heck? There's no drill emoji. Drill. <laughs> Greetings, blub. Greetings, Fetty. Greetings everyone who views on YouTube and says stuff, so I hope you're having a good time. Uh, let's dive into it, shall we? Here we go. Whoop. Here we go. Uh, so, yeah, so, okay. On the last stream, uh, did watch Tengen Topper. Guren Yagen, though. So I kind of do know the drill. Le phone. Very nice. That's not Italian. It's ill phone. Or la phone. Is phone feminine? Telefona? Oh. <laughs> um, on the last stream, uh... It was very embarrassing. This is one of the things I always, like, get very awkward about when I'm streaming, because I'm like, oh my gosh, what if I don't know where a thing is? The reason why there's a save called 3, and another save called Open House After Hawk Vid, I literally went on the internet, and I found a lovely existing save, showing me, hey, what was I doing wrong? And I wandered up to the, to the, uh, to here, and I was like, huh, what happened? So, in the, at the end of the last stream, uh, this, dude, this game's an, an enigma, though, I'll tell you that. Um, but yeah, no, we got up to here, and I was like, how come? I click on this, I die. What's going on? If only I forgot to re-equip the, the flashlight after literally dying to this, and then... Never re-equipping it. Wherever the flashlight's gone. Unless I forgot to pick it up. Am I blind? I, I think I actually am blind. Hold on. Uh, but yeah, no. I, I, I realize the error of my ways. I've actually practiced. I've beaten the whole game now. Oh, I must have picked it up. In that case, which inventory spot is it? Oh, it's here. There you go. Put it in there. Uh, because... Uh, literally all of these, like, signs, or at least the green ones, the green ones only appear when you've got, when you've got the flashlight out. So if we go back in here, oh look, it's visible. Unequip it, put a torch in the thing. Not visible anymore. Put a flashlight in my hand. Visible. There we go. It, it's not a riddle, it's me being an idiot. This allows us to... Go through the locked, doors. Locked, locked. Now, the reason why things are still locked is because there's 50 keys around here that you still need to be picking up. So, part of it is actually, most of it is my own confusion. I love how the moment I, uh, you know, locked. I forgot which key is which, by the way. Um, yeah, it opens up to me. Uh, locked. Locked. One of these keys is not like the locked. others. I'm pretty sure wardrobe key locked. is it? Nope. Locked. Oh my gosh. Locked. Door sound behind me. Locked. Locked. I'm going insane, man. How many keys locked? Locked. Locked. Okay. I guess it's none of these. Uh, also, while I'm at it, oh, I'm holding on to the wrong item. Uh, but let's, uh, let's get the flashlight back just so I'm not going nuts. It is locked. And you can, you can casually just... <laughs> Uh, well, I guess look through the look through the little window there. Um, yeah, there's some other things that we can look at as well. Um, yeah, the the worst part as well is uh, first of all, this one should be open because of again because you can see it, and I believe this. I don't know. I still don't know what that light switch does though. 
We got a lovely big reflection here, as well as also, uh, rat back on PC. Um, oh. I think oh. I'm gonna puke. Oh. Uh. <laughs> locked, locked. Oh, okay. I, I'm very certain one of these keys is uh, this one. Oops, drunk a potion. That's okay. <sighs> locked. I'll probably start from the back of my inventory. There you go. There's that. Back to the flashlight. Uh. You never have you never have inventory management like this ever again in the game as well. Oh my gosh, jeez. I've got the sound up. I realize I've been playing these streams with my, like, local sound just turned down for this very reason, because it's a bit louder than this. Just a little bit. Uh, but yeah, why are we coming here? Because there's a key. That's right, there's a key ordering. Um, back to the shack. Not Locked. to the shack yet. Locked. Oh my gosh, by the way, yeah. Locked. Nope, not that one. Locked. Not that one. That one. Yeah, the whole point is that you need a... There's a key item you need to get in this house. Locked. So, I believe... Let's use the Locked. color key. Let's use the key next to it. Locked. Let's use the key next to it in the Locked. right spot. Let's use... The wardrobe Locked. key. Let's see. It. It's probably not any of these, so let's go back. Because there's a, there's a... I mean, there's a multitude of doors we've seen as well. It'll never end. Locked. There's this door down here. I'm very certain... Locked. 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 Oh my gosh, wow. Locked. Okay. Flashlight time. <laughs> Back to the flashlight. Back to the flashlight. Because I've still got one potential spot. So we've explored mostly around this whole place. There's nothing too hidden here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> this is what I mean by, like, A, it's still mostly locked. And there's this door, but I'm pretty sure it's the same key as the other side. Um, but if we go back to our uh, favorite basement area that's completely dark with the flashlight uh, equipped uh, that was clearly a wall that we could break open and you don't need a key for that one someone's keeping busy I can sense something in here magical very concentrated very concentrated magic yeah so I'm gonna say I'm partially an idiot but also uh, maybe maybe the game's a bit cryptic I'm very certain there's this, which, uh, that is a, oops, it's gone somewhere. Where's it gone? Uh, this is key. the key. Floral design. A key. This floral design. But it is indeed a key. You have to visit here and get another key. So, I needed that. Back to the lab. No, we don't need to go back. Well, we went back to the key. Floral design. Yes. Um, there's this door, which fortunately opens via the floral design key. What the hell? Hey, what is this place? I've no idea. But it's an image we're looking at. It's not really here. See how it's shifting? What the hell? I've no idea. So that's fun. <laughs> but it's an image we're looking at. I think at. It's, it's entirely really optional here. to even like walk in here. See how it's shifting? Well, it's good fun. Unfortunately, it being optional means, uh, again, I need to somehow decipher which key opens locked this door. Or we'll just wander into the other one. We'll try it. We'll try the other door. Why not? Okay, uh, it's not the floral Locked. key. It's not the key next to it. Locked. It's not the key next to it. Locked. It's not the key next to it. Locked. It's not the, um, wardrobe Locked. key. It's not the outhouse Locked. key. It's not the... Locked. These are both tiny room... Yeah, outhouse. Locked. I th by the time I'm scrolling up to, like, the sewer key, that's probably not it, but... Ah... Uh... I feel like I'm going nuts because I did practice this one day. Yeah, one day I'll get out of here. One day I will actually escape. But like, I, I'm Locked. really feeling it's Locked. this. This is the one that I need to somehow get out of, and it's not Locked. that key. Locked. It's not that one. Locked. It's not that one. Locked. It's not that one. Locked. Locked. 
Oh my Locked. gosh. I, I did practice this. I saw... It's key to the cupboard. There you go. Okay. Okay. I'm just holding on to this key now. I'm not even moving it. I'm not even changing it. Uh, there was this game called Hell Sign. It was wonderfully immersive. It had a weakness, but overall it was great for the immersion. We did it, boys. Well, we, d we did that key. We still got one, one more place to put a key. There you go. Can't see anything. Good thing there's no enemy. Oh, there it is. Spawn, yeah, I'll try Spawn one behind me. Is there any? Yeah, you go. Uh, we got a wonderful bookshelf on the side. There's a book. There's a book. This one catches fire, and then you can pick it up. It's curious. But okay. Uh, you know what that means? We picked up three books, so we gotta look at our books. Someone's novel. Fathers, maybe. Maybe not. This book's. That is a very hot book, yeah. It's, uh, you remember well, the book in really Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone where he, like, opens it up father. and it, like, shouts at them? Or it doesn't shout, it kind of screams awkwardly. Someone's novel. Fathers, maybe. Maybe not. This book's personal to someone. It's a, yeah, personal There's book. Something sticking out. And, uh, this pages. one is... The perseverance has paid off at last. Yeah, yeah it's a bit... This book calls the it's a bit of a rehash. Questions. No doubt. But let's go through it thoroughly and systematically, okay? Uh, but yeah, no, it had another key, that's right. It's also got a second page about a uh, Claude Forentine. Very nice. It actually kind of looks... I mean, you can ask all the same questions, but trust me, that's a separate book because it has a different key locked. Oops. Oh, no. Oh, boy. I'm very certain that's the end of the key game. I'm pretty certain. Uh, it's this key. So I think with that key... We're actually good, because then it starts spawning enemies, so you know you've done well. Ooh, ouch. There you go, the return. So we're finally out. Other thing I want to mention, so as we wandered here, uh, there was an enemy that spawned right here. You may have just noticed I stepped right past this coin. This coin drops because I killed that enemy. It's a bit hard to see. You need the coin, because you need to put it in here. That's a, that's a pretty easy key. Uh, you need to use that key we just found in order to open that door. No, we, we did open it. The, to open the, the key the key to the bathroom... Oh, the, uh, sorry, the, the bathroom cabinet and the wardrobe both go into the same room. So, uh, they're both just signs. They're both things in the way. Um, but yeah, no, we got this lovely church, which is nice. Uh, a bit empty. Are there really people buried in these, do you think? The tradition's a long one. This is probably as old as the church. Uh, but yeah, we can wander up to, you know, this. Where we, we'll, we'll get a cutscene of them standing in front of the green screen. But yeah, uh, this, this legit, this took me just like a fair bit of re-deciphering. Oh. Good old screaming. Everyone likes some good old screaming. Um, and the worst part, I don't think any of the game is like this, like, key hunty. Cryptic, we'll get into that for the rest of the stream, but key hunty, not as much. I appreciate the eye shots. Whoa. Everyone likes a good feather, I guess. Nope. <laughs> yeah, Banjo Kazooie. <Bang. laughs> We're gonna look for some Jinjos. <laughs> We're looking at a stained window and suddenly feathers. This crucifix. Ah, let me stop you there. This is a cross, not a crucifix. Some people make that fundamental mistake. What about? Oh, that, neither of the two are wearing glasses, but uh, that's a that's a Peter Griffin from last stream. Impressive. I've never seen anything quite like this in all my days. Impressive, yeah. Anyway, let's let's use the key to open this door, and you'll need to wander up here because you'll find a. Uh, this table seen better days. Are they knife or claw marks on the surface? This is delicate. Be careful with it. Uh, yeah, you'll find a delicate object. What is this delicate object? It's this a, is delicate. It's 
It's a tiara. Very nice. Feather. From the stained glass window. Our presence probably triggered something off. <laughs> They're not even going to explain why there's feathers in a glass window. But sure, okay. Keep wandering up the stairs and we'll, you know, we're up a floor here. There's a key here. to give away which lock it fits. Just, you know, hold it for a moment. Hold on to the key for a moment. Put this key back in. Swap back to the new key we just got. And that opens this door, which then saved the game. We did it. We finally hit a point where I can save my game. Actually, you could save your game whenever, but... Uh, you can That's see figure. there's a the angel. wonderful angel figure. Looks similar to the one in the window, don't you think? Very similar. Yeah, very similar. That's right, he's got green wings. So what goes into there's the... a small indentation here. Looks like a fern or something. Hmm. Like a fern. That's right. You just need to put in the, uh, the red feather. There's a small indentation. Hmm. I was expecting an enemy to spawn. That happened last time. Oh. Wait, yeah? Hi? Yes? Have I done this right? I'm putting the feather in. That figure. Very similar. Putting in the feather in. Have I not done everything? Oh, no. Oh, no. Have I not done everything? I'm out of order again. I'm very certain, like, that's it. Like, that's all you gotta do, is put the... The feather on and the chapter ends. Right? I'm not holding on to the key though when this door is opening though. So. Oh. oh boy, am I missing something? Am I missing something? Back to the lab again. It's not in the lab. That's the one thing. Oh, yeah, sorry, you need the book. Yeah, sorry. You need the notebook. Because what does the notebook say? Michael, he who is God. Yeah, okay. Sure. Sorry, I needed the book. Now I can come back. Now? No? Oh my gosh, what? What do I keep missing? Ah. Oh. <laughs> no. See, we got the crew. How far did I... How fast did I go? Am I doing this entirely wrong? Now the red feather? Uh, mild spoilers, but like what should be happening is you put in the feather and then it tells mm. you off. You know, I'm not sure. Oh. Perhaps. No, no. We're good. We're good. There you go. So if you have the red feather in there. Oops. Oops. If you have the red feather, uh, they tell you off. How dare you put the red feather in? You put the green feather in, and then this door opens up. And what what does that give you? Gives you a helmet. All that for the helmet. <laughs> this time through the dragon helm. The dragon helm. This stops me getting smashed over the back of the head, right? Actually, no. It is a passport to Athens, realm of the divine. Put it on. Dracula's helmet. There it is. Oh, never mind. <laughs> this realm of the divine. Are we talking about heaven? I am not sending you to heaven, Adam. Believe me, I would allow you more time to prepare yourself if that were the case. But beware. I wonder if Dracula has ever turned into a dragon before, because he turns into like other things. Rats, bats, cats. Dragons don't rhyme, so. Still haven't said why we need to go there at all. I had various clues in it, but. But the clues have not become fact. The clues have not become fact. Remember when we first met? I spoke in metaphors. Sure. And my words. You first told me to go with open eye. And that's Rebecca. And the second was, go with the wings of angels to guide me. That must be the feather. Well, she is correct. It was the feather that brought you to me, and to the dragon house. 
I'm pretty sure we picked up the feather like two seconds before, so... Something about it was the 50 keys that brought me here. Okay, you are correct, Adam. And the final metaphor. The sword of the dragon held aloft as a beacon to the tower. That was it, wasn't it? It was the sword of the dragon. Wow, they're really just testing him on this one. The sword that was taken from the soul stone by Florentine. The sword that started all of this. That's what you mean. The keys were conduits. And now you must take it to the Like the body the is to the soul, the, the key is to the essence. <laughs> what was that one line? The ultimate destinies of you both lie upon the show. Trust your senses. Walk carefully within the divine realm. And more carefully still when you come to the gates of hell. Okay. And he's gone. We finally did it. We got out of that chapter. That's right. There's eight more chapters to go. <laughs> I'm going to try and burn... Not burn through them, but some of them are definitely a lot shorter. So, hopefully, this is not an eight-hour stream. But yeah, we can now leave. If you stood on this before, the game just was like, eh, I can't leave. But now you can, so... Finally, we are out of this place. It's been an hour. Who is the dragon? That is a good question. We'll have to find out. There's a sword of the dragon. Uh, but yeah, now we're back to the divine realm. Were we in the in the tower? Sorry, we're not in the divine realm yet. Were we in the tower before? Let's try and figure out. Yeah, it was that. It was that door. Pete the dragon. I believe no enemies have spawned since last time we came here. I'm very certain we weren't <laughs> a bit precarious. I'm very certain we weren't like We didn't even join into here. Save? That's fair. You'll actually you'll actually be mildly thankful about something in the next area, which is every chapter from here on out is like so explicitly one of the mechanics now. No Traveler, you possess the rite of passage. Go now with the soul to guide you. Okay. To which the laws that govern he has decreed. Nothing can be brought to this realm that parallels the law. All possessions that mirror the elements have been ruled unfit. They will be returned at your departure. Further, only one device exists that may be taken from this realm. The sword eternity. You are marked, son of Adam. But are you truly worthy? Let it begin. Okay. Uh, so welcome to Aqua. The realm of the divine. The realm of the divine is quite neat. Actually, it's not neat. Well, it's sort of neat. It consists of this building and nothing else. Yeah, your inventory is clean. You still hold on to your mask. But... And we... Ooh. And we do have this scroll. So they do define what, what you're doing. This is what you must do. All four elements must be in their absolute state. This may require you to use one element to produce another from the raw ingredients that you have found. Take the four elements of the ring of eight and place them correctly. They will conjure the presence of the Hafaza. When you look upon the face of Tishtria, take up the elements again and combine them. Remember that what pleases us often pleases the divine also, and consider which of your senses is as yet untouched. When the sense of success sweetens the air, you will achieve your mind's desire. So, we have this note, they've given us this big clue, and there's honestly nothing else here, like you could wander around the place, but you just gotta wander in. Lots of water. Wow. This is incredible. You're telling me. I do like water. Uh, there exists corners of this place like it's not a massive building but uh one of these corners is a portal yeah it, do it does kind of look like the other one no but this is heaven except not quite it's just greece i guess um also this literally just teleports you onto the second floor um the teleporter i guess gets around the room over room limitation that they have <laughs> um but yeah, you can see your cylinder. I can't feel any power or magic. In There's this. various items as we wander around. The magnifying glass would be handy right now. Uh, they tell you about the magnifying glass. Piece of flint. Piece of flint. So pretty much this whole chapter 
is an item combining puzzle. You've even got these little walls here. Curtain of light. Not gonna let us through. No, I don't think it will. The ward's a hybrid of the magic of passing and the magic of stasis. Something to do with the water element also. Yep, that's right. So we're gonna need to figure out how do we combine items. Like that. Now we have cylinder and flint. Piece of flint. Use the flint and we've got a spark. One of the elements we lack here. Okay. So pop that in your inventory. And I believe you can... Curtain of light. No, I don't think it will. The ward's a hybrid of the magic of passing and the magic of stasis. There we go. Something yeah. To do. Some We've got optical a optical design. design. Oh yeah, Dood if you know Doodle God, you can sort of wing this. Sort of teleporter. Where it goes, wow. Hmm. There's only one way to find out. So click on one of these portals, and uh, it's the same portal cutscene every single time, and you teleport to Egypt? We're in Egypt, I guess. Serious Sam vibes. Um, this room has a thing you want right in the center. So we just need to wander around and somehow understand a bit of staircase logic. Oh, I guess wandering around here isn't quite it. Oh no, it is. Yes. No. Yes. There we go. It's not that bad. It's a cup. We're gonna need a cup. I'll tell you that. It, it came pre-filled as well. I don't know why it was pre-filled, but sure. Um, so now I just need to figure out where did I come from? I think it was right here. Here. Yeah. The chalice, that's right, the chalice is back. Uh, we also had a portal on the other side, so same rules apply. This is a different room. It's a different room. It looks similar, but it's different. Uh, it's not that bad, because all you gotta do is wander up a staircase, around a staircase, and then you come up here, and confusingly, you gotta look down. This tile's different from the other. It's different. So you click it, and it... Oh look, a magnifying glass. That seemed like it was going to be useful a moment ago, wasn't it? So, yeah, this whole chapter is just picking up items, use item on item thing, and away you go. So now, oh my gosh, <laughs> a spawn in the ceiling. Uh, so since we've got a chalice, we can use that to get rid of water, I guess. Or get rid of <laughs> light spells. We're gonna need to get rid of all of these, so it's fair enough. Now we can use the magnifying glass in our other hand to won't budge. Something written here. Reveal. Something, Something written here. here. Burn. 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 Uh, Shower of Destiny. Yes. Uh, we've got different nothing ones here. Stuck fast. Yeah, nothing there's, there's nothing in that one, but we do have other items here. Paper fan. Oriental. The designs the yin and yang. Nice. Thank you. This whole building is designed around just like metal bowl and having powder. items. <laughs> Any ideas? Who wants some lang? Powder's even stranger. There's no substance I've ever come across. Magical. Goes without saying. One thing, this is incomplete. It needs something It's incomplete else. as well. Oh my gosh. Metal flask. There's a fine red powder inside. Keep it close, Adam. It's very magical. It's very magical. Okay. Uh, make sure you've got the. Magnifying, oh, where's the magnifying, magnifying glass? This one's stuck fast. It says grind. I've been playing a lot of Tony Hawk's Underground, so I'm a bit used to that right now. And uh, this is the last this one. This blue tile. I can read it now. Bong? What does that mean? Your guess is as good as mine. Bong? What does that mean? Mortar. The, the Sigma grinds it. Grind set. You do need Maybe the Sigma need grind set. Pestle for grinding. Might come in handy with the mortar we found. Wow, spelling it out. Okay, we've now picked up a bajillion items. This becomes... What do you use on what? First of all, you have a mortar. You have a pestle. They've spelled it out for you. Mortar. You've got a pestle somewhere, right? Usually the two are inseparable and useless without each other. Very nice. Uh, I believe we need to combine... Uh, one of these things. Oh, you do get a gong sound every time you try to use the flint with the... Any of these, really. Oh, 
Okay. Uh, let's wander back. We don't have bong. We, we can make peso sauce. Um, this one it says grind. If you've got the mortar and pestle in your inventory, you can get a... A hookah, if I'm not mistaken. Oriental How far are we in the stream? Thirty yeah. minutes. Okay, we're good. Tried one once. <laughs> Principles at the smoke. <laughs> Tried the once. Water in the vase area from whatever's being burned. Whatever being the operative word. Okay, sure. Um, yeah, literal. Uh, just you know, hookah. Fancy weed. It is fancy weed. Let's put our. Where we put the powder in? A bit. Do we light it? Not yet. Won't budge. Um, not the mortar. I'll come back. <laughs> I'm just like, what, what order do you use things in? This says burn. This one's stuck fast. Which would be great if you could use... Damn. Oh, wait, stuck hold fast. on. Uh, you can't use the scroll on it because it's in a different inventory spot. Uh, this one's stuck. This one's stuck. Won't budge. Nope. Nothing going on there. Do the reverse order of items. There you go. Oh, sorry. I had to combine my powders. Now I have snow. Snow. The powders changed to snow. Odd. Two powders must have been. No, th th didn't weekend. you expect I was going to have snow? You know. Maybe later. <laughs> Maybe later. Okay. I can't combine it with anything. Stuck fast. Uh, I don't suppose Won't snow budge. is burn. Uh, that's for the end. These things, so... Damn. Stuck. I mean, I have the Stuck. bong right Stuck here. Does it not later. count? Damn. Stuck fast. Put in a line and snort it. That's for later. That's what they... That's what it says on the... On the piece of paper. They're like, with the sense of success, Sweden's the air. They flat out are like, yeah, no, that's that's exactly it. Yeah, yeah. Uh. Maybe later. I must be missing an item. I swear. Uh. Or I actually do need to combine it with the scroll, like. Hold on, like legit, if I carry the scroll and I go cylinder and flint... No, because that's the, that's the instructions, right? That's why they gave you a piece of paper. <laughs> exactly, you gotta roll it up. This seems a bit odd to me. Again, I practiced this like literally yesterday and I'm just completely forgetting the the ordering of the items. Bong. Well, actually fast. not bong. But I'm pretty sure I need a piece of paper to then burn. And I'm looking around and I didn't exactly pick one up and I'm I don't believe it's in the like little hidden rooms. The hidden rooms are pretty clear. We're back to this one, which is stuck fast. Stuck fast. I don't suppose any of these items Won't open it up. Oh, sorry, the fan does. Sorry, the fan does. Okay, now I have a scroll. A magnifying glass would be handy right now. <laughs> I wonder what it says. Okay. Uh, take the scroll. Something magnifying it. Something written. Now you can see what it says. Anything to light it. And now you can burn Ooh, it. That seems to have done something. So now we go back to the burn one. There we go, yeah, we finally got there. So we go back to the burn Straw. one. Straw. Of sorts. It's tinder. Which we now have Very tinder, good. so now I can go on a date. Use the tinder with the flint. We now Straw. have... Of sorts. Fire? We can now... Burn... The... Maybe later. What do we do? <laughs> tinder, tinder burning. Uh, describes Tinder, basically. Uh, 
Like do it. They don't want me doing that yet. What am I doing wrong? Oh gosh. Maybe later. Still can't do that. Tinder doesn't get used on anything, apparently. What? Oh my gosh. <laughs> what? Damn. Stuck fast. Certainly you can pick up burning for your crotch on Tinder. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Probably don't do that, actually. Don't... I don't know. I always feel... Real talk. Real talk. I, like... The dating game terrifies me because... Like, not, not, not as a, how do I put it? <laughs> it's like, oh man, never go on dates. This one's stuck fast. You don't need Tinder for that. Yeah, true, true. Damn, stuck fast. Uh... Okay. Oh, now it works. It works because I'm, I'm standing here. Fossil resin. So now we have amber. You can grind the amber. Yeah. What's this? To get I think it used catch to be up. burned as incense. To incense, you say? Man, maybe if only later. I could... Uh, maybe later. Hold on, do I need... I don't need any of these other doors, do I? Maybe later. I think we're actually good, so... Hmm. Colors gold, wouldn't you say? You're telling me. Can you sense anything on... Yeah. I can feel it. Alright, so, I'm pretty sure we've got to put the elements on, on the pedestals now. So, what is fire? Well, it's probably the tinder. There it is. This is wind. So, I guess the... That. The water pipe, I guess, is water. Which is a cloud. Which represents water. Hi. Yes, you're gonna put that on? No. Or, I guess the snow counts. And then the amber and water count. No. Maybe the fan, isn't it? Maybe it's the, the bong. Nope. We're not good. Wow. You're telling me. You sense could Yeah. I can feel it. It's almost as if the water's alive. Maybe we've got to swap these. Like, maybe that's not wind. Maybe that's water. Because it's wavy. You know how it is. Clouds are <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like picture, picture of wave. Ah, uh, yes, water. Picture of cloud. Ah, uh, yes, Time not to water. Put the together, I think. There we go. Okay, so now pick them all back up, and then we have to basically. Maybe later. Uh, there you go. You've now got the water. Now you've got the essence. You've now put got the fan, what? all that, a hookah, Orient. and we've smoked it all together. So now we can click on the water with a hookah that we burnt literally everything in, and uh, well, we're tripping out now. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Yo, bro, pass that. <laughs> I mean, he's made out of water. <laughs> this is the original Far Cry 3, exactly. And uh, he turns into a sword. I mean, wouldn't you? Listen, I don't do drugs. Dragon sword. I'm not sure if that's how it works. Oh man, pointing at it. Uh. Dragons do breathe fire, true. Eternity. Now we're finally gonna get some answers. <laughs> no idea where to put that. <laughs> Just keep holding it. And there we go to the next chapter, chapter 14. We start getting into the quicker chapters now. Um, 
One of these portals is red. This one. This connects with the pavilion. The one in the garden, yes. But it's oh. only one way. Well, I guess one of these other ones then. This one? No. <laughs> I mean, you probably could jump out of the window, but... Oh, sorry, it's the white one. There you go. And then we're good. This whole area, just for that puzzle. And then we'll wander around the building and then cry because I walked out of the wrong corner. But uh, yeah, well, well, I was, <laughs> was going to try and sort my inventory, but uh, we'll do that in a moment. Oh, no, nope, still wrong corner. But yeah, I, I feel like the cryptic nature of the game you don't have, like, backtracking, really. Well, not too much. You're sort of stylized as a cross in the inventory. So now we have a turn. Yes. The dragon sword. Yes. This thing's as light as a feather, you know? Death, Adam, is as light as a feather. Duty is as heavy as a rock. Use it well. Thank you. I mean, heavy as a rock is, like, how heavy is, like... Bag of feathers, it's like, well, it depends how many feathers, I guess. Now all we've got to do is take the dragon sword to the chamber of the soul stone. Not going to be an easy trip, that's for sure. At last. Eternity. Eternity. This is why I've been brought here. Everything has been leading to this. The sword of Florentine's dreams. The sword of the dragon. I can feel its power. Its energy. It's uh, clearly a kilogram of, of rocks. But there's another. I can feel their energy connecting with mine and the swords. There's Could another be. sword? So close. So close. Yeah, okay, sure. Combine the face. Combine the face. Well, I guess we combine the face by double clicking. So now we just need to wander all the way back. Also, I can now do some inventory management and save because I really don't want to just fall off and have to do all that again. Uh, so we've got the, uh, like the regular sword. You can put this sword in. You don't need the regular sword anymore. Um, and save, yes, definitely. But yeah, no, now we've got a fancy sword. You can swing it. It does a, you know, little, little, little bolt. But otherwise, it's a sword. All the swords are about the same. It doesn't really feel that different. Zelda 1? Exactly. I think Breath of the Wild had a sword like that as well, didn't it? So, uh, now I believe we just wander all the way back to, um... To the mansion. They don't exactly tell you. But if you just wander in this direction, you'll see, like, dudes here. Look at this incredibly strong sword. Well, he does blow up eventually, so that is true, but... It's, it's, about, it's about the same damage as the, the other sword, yeah. Um, but yeah, the, the cryptic nature of this game... I think adds to its charm, although definitely it's like, uh... Ooh. Okay, not that right. Um, but yeah, definitely it gets a bit, uh, you know, here and there when it comes to, like, I guess how fair it all is. Da-da-da-da, uh, da-da-da-da. There you go, so we just need to stand here. Not see nor reply. Ah, oh, that's alright. I'm gonna have to say some things then. Um, well, if you can't see, then a cutscene immediately happens. Where, uh... <laughs> oh, yeah, just, just dragging a, a guy, he's leaning over. You know, it'd be easy if you had a treadmill or a cart or something. Adam. Help me. For the love of God. 
Help me! You'd late for your father now, wouldn't you say, Adam? Didn't he already say he was dead? Ah! Oh. oh my goodness. His only hope really is you. And there you Apparently are. Apparently I burnt him with a cup of water. Or a sword, actually. <laughs> it was a different sword. Silly girl. Silly girl. Loving son watching his father being beaten. Humiliated. You have made this a very personal battle. Yeah, okay. Well, what are you going to do, Adam? Okay, you bastard. Let's do it. Adam. I guess that went well. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, that was a very quick chapter. We are now the prisoner. It's so important, it doesn't even get its own chapter. It's just, it's just a title card, that's it. Man, he's so upset he lost the fight. <laughs> nah, don't need to see it, don't need to see it. <laughs> also, don't need to play it, I guess. I mean, literally, you could just have the player go into, a, like, an unbeatable fight and just, like... When they die, they're here. Oh, there he is. Well then. What's going on? Where am I? You are in my hands. As indeed are these. Shit. Quiet. <laughs> yes. Also, is he just I'm holding going it? To look after your father. No gloves? Watch if you like. Okay. I love the face makeup, but unfortunately you barely get to see him. Ah, uh, that was what the sword did. You remember when Peter Griffin appeared and we used the sword to, like, blow him up? Yeah, I guess that, so. Uh, but yeah, no, we're just chilling here. You can steal all the pages, but <laughs> very quickly he hits another cutscene. Apparently I did lots of quick reading. And now, to sit in silence as we ponder the news. I have a couple of news. Uh, one thing is uh, the two days of Denuvo having a Discord server. That was fun. Look up the memes of that if, if uh, you missed out because uh, that was some hilarious PR. Oh. Rebecca? Rebecca? I love, like, when you got voices in your head, I've... At some point, like, no I'm used to voice... Not voice... I'm Miss used Del. to voices in my head. I'm used to, like, you know, headphones. No so, like, it doesn't matter where I'm looking if the voices are in my head. <laughs> Community based around DR. Yeah, where's my easy anti-cheat, like, Discord? <laughs> yes, but Rebecca... He's, he's got the sword, the key, the shrive. That's, he's wearing those gloves again well, so we can hold the damn thing. <laughs> he wasn't wearing it a moment ago. Sekiro, yeah. I'll try and get to you. Val Vanichi. See what you can do. So you just need to see what you can do. That's right. Still more pages about... Fires and people dead. Locked. Doors locked. Hell, these sheets are filthy. Filthy sheets. Bolted to the floor. Hey! Literally just had to wait and then she just laser zapped the door. Yeah, I think so. You? Yeah, fine. Should we go? <laughs> Belial's taken on our things. I can't sense him on this ride. He must have taken 
through the tower. And this begins chapter 15, Where the Dead Lie. Uh, but yeah, no, the, the Denuvo uh, server is hilarious. I don't know why. It's like, you've stolen all my things. Literally, you have everything on you. Um, only thing, I guess, is, uh, you know, you don't have that sword that we just got and used for a hot second. But I've got everything else, including all these other items, so might as well. I don't know why there's a adjoining room here. Um, there's also a tiny little room with lots of healing items and a book and some scrolls. Let's read, uh, scrolls and books, shall we? Florentine's Journal Part 3. That's right, Florentine, uh, Dear Diary. I write in papyrus font. But uh, he does indeed have uh, lots of other writings in here. And a map of the graveyard maze. This will be useful in a very hot second, so. Wander up some stairs and... Send a bodyguard out there. Um, save? Fine. <laughs> Fine! I literally just saved downstairs. I love these, uh... Bone. <laughs> looks human. It bone. Is. Yes. You'd know what human bone looks like. And, uh, out we go! This looks a little bigger on the out- hold on. Legit. Doors there... Makes sense. Okay, it's not World Portal. Just looks a little funky, that's all. Because you've got the transition from, like, the floor underneath as well. Actually, I'm pretty sure... Actually, I'm pretty sure this is just big enough. Yeah, a very small ma mausoleum. Uh, but yeah, no, we've got a big, uh, courtyard. And we're gonna have a lot of dudes kind of after us this whole time. Um, which gives me plenty of time to talk about the Denuvo thing. Yeah, so, if you hadn't, if you hadn't caught, Denuvo made a Discord server for some reason. I assume it was for PR reasons? Because I don't know who's, like, asking for specifically support for Denuvo. That should usually be through the product that you buy. And no one's buying Denuvo directly, so... You know, it's, it's not like you ask, um... Well, maybe you can ask Epic Games if you're having Unreal Engine problems. Uh, but... In general, it's like, oh, you know, like, you only ask the, the, the provider for the things that are relevant. And it's like, well, Denuvo rarely shows up. Oh my gosh. Excuse me? Don't, don't poke your head over, I guess. And uh, make sure you heal, I guess. There is going to be a ton of healing, so no sweat. Don't worry. Uh, but yeah, wander over to this side, and we should have, over in this corner, a dead end. Because it's actually the other way. Uh, there's a door stuck here. Fast. Stuck. I think it's meant to imply that this is on the outside of the mansion. Uh, but there's three bits of fire here, which coincidentally, we have three, uh, journals from Florentine that we've picked up. Or rather, two, two journals that just say journal but look the same. And that's right, that's why all, both of them have had keys, because they wanted to force that as a requirement right now. That was a whole chapter, by the way. The gate. So, uh, we are... Uh, might as well save. Uh, gone for less than ten minutes. <laughs> the chapter was... You missed two chapters, technically. We were stuck in a room, that was one chapter, and then we walked out of the room. That was another chapter. <laughs> yeah. Really short. So, all right, let's query the um the the graveyard map again. Fortunately, this chapter and the next chapter are very long. Unfortunately, the three remaining ones are pretty short. Afterwards, so uh, so we are here, I guess, maybe, and uh, our goal is to somehow get into the center. There's a couple of staircases, and you get some weird like features like that. There's not actually any items you need, and as a pro strat. Fun fact, uh, save the game, because, you know, reasons. Uh, at this point, you can just use the mask. It just works. It's a bug. You're, you're not, <laughs> you're not really meant to be able to use the mask right now, but you could, you could just continue the game and not go to the graveyard by just using the mask now. 
Um, as long as the one at the start. Uh, yeah, about... Oof. Maybe a bit shorter. Maybe as long as the, like, the two I just did. The puzzly ones. Um... Oh, sorry, yeah, not the... Uh, think, like, St. Michael's in its entirety, not, like, just the stuff I did at the beginning of the stream. Although I didn't actually do that much in the last stream. I sort of wandered around. So I didn't get what I did. Um, oh, yeah, so... The whole point is that you're meant to wander through this maze and then eventually hit a portal at the end. But for some odd reason, using... And you have to use the mask on the portal. But for some odd reason, the code has made it so using the mask now works. And it just continues the game. You don't actually have to navigate to the center of the maze if you're a bit lazy. Uh, what kind of weapon is that? That is the, uh, the dagger that we've had. Um, so not the sword we just found. Yeah, you can skip the whole maze by just doing that. Uh, speedrunners will just be like, yeah, sure. Because it's, it's one of the only places in the game that you actually have, like, a... A proper skip. Um, this is a real weird, like, kind of part here where it's like, got this little thin little corridor. Oh, yeah, yeah, exactly. The sword shoot lightning. Uh, we'll wander around. Like, you can sort of feel that you're navigating somewhere towards the center, even if you can't jump. <laughs> we got a bench. Little tight gap, little whatever's happening here. Whatever's happening here. Uh, this is that weird little intersection I noted earlier. And before you know it, weird staircase. Little guy with a dagger. Little guy with. Oh. Little guy with that. <laughs> Keep wandering around. Just follow the enemies, I guess. Seems to be how do you do it? This isn't even from memory. I don't actually think it's that bad of a maze. Yeah, here you go. And now you're meant to use the mask. But since the game doesn't care, in theory, you can do whatever. Alright. Now, I believe we're in a different part of... I'll save. We're in a different part of the tower. Uh, I, I don't know. The game's a little inconsistent, like, what's part of the tower and what's not. Or, sorry, like, what, which ones you go to. Because, like, remember, we went to the tower once at the very beginning just to go from, like, one side of the mansion to the other. And we never navigated to that part of the, the tower again. So all this serves is to just have you walk underneath one of these platforms because it looks cool. And uh, also to, ooh, to wander around here just to, you know, <laughs> go to the next corridor. It's not really a, um... Oops. Oh, yeah. It's not really a wrong path you can do. And that's kind of a thing with the whole game. There's not really a wrong path for the whole game. You've usually got every item you need, um, going forward. Even, like, oh, if, you, if you're shy of healing items, every single one of these enemies drops a healing item. Every single one of them. Sometimes they're the small ones. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I love... I do like the, you know... The kind of abstract portals. That's all good fun. That must mean there's a guy right behind me. Good thing I got sandwiched there, right? Yeah. I don't think I need to kill that guy. Well, now I definitely know I don't need to kill him. What the heck? Where are you, where are you going? Where is he going? I think his pathfinding doesn't know where he's going. Or he's going to snap onto the platform in front of me. Oh, I think it's good. I think it's not like Doom, where every enemy has like an like a cylinder. That is a reaper whose name is Death, and with his where it's like you can't physically move on top. I'm the head out. You heading out? He's heading out. I'm assuming you're quoting that the enemy right there. Also, yes. Before you, uh, yeah, there there are like pieces of grass in the air. Walk through here. Yeah, okay, cool. And we have another portal. Doesn't appear to be working. But it doesn't work because they want you to do a bit of platforming, but they don't want you to do doesn't the platforming because they want you to kill this guy first. That was a pretty pro 
reverse ollie backflip jump. That's right, dude, you've called it. You've called it. I don't even care about taking out these enemies. Does it really matter? Oh, look at that. Look at that. What is this doing here? What is this just doing here? He just hit it here. He stole it and just put it on the ground. All right. Anyway, we got the tourney, so let's actually put in a put in an item slot so I can use it. Yeah, I don't even know, man. Uh, did I mention this thing doesn't do that much damage? Like it gets there, but could have been better. Anyways, jump over, and they finally let you take the portal. Which leads us to, as you've guessed it, hell. And by hell, I mean uh, this wonderful like garden. from Dante's comedy. Although, it... Dante's comedy. You're really bringing that up, bro. You're really bringing that up. I'm going to save right here because you know there's going to be some f fancy dialogue happening the moment we walk towards this gate. That is an Italian book, true. He is an Italian actor. Maybe that's how he knows. Know that I have dominion here. Know that only I possess the power to grant passage through the gates of Sheol. Uh, what is this place? Perhaps you could tell us something about this place in which we stand. I'm not sure what's with the difference this of the mic quality. Sometimes it kicks in. This hallowed ground. It is against all law to spill blood within Much worse than pure RPGs where I can be super... <laughs> true, true. Can you tell I've actually played through a couple of RPGs recently. I played through, um, I Fantasy Star 3 in the past week. Fantasy Star 3 is a very there just mid-game. No I actually, I really didn't find it we was that engaging. It's got so two neat mechanics, and they're super there. underutilized because the game Let's is a bit of a, like, a wash. Enter. It's too easy, and uh, like it just it just demands that you navigate through mazes. Has anyone passed through the gate recently? But you you knock out enemies so we quickly, enemies. and you have so much healing that it really doesn't matter at the end. There have been three. Three names are of no importance. Oh, come on. <laughs> Their signatures were lies, hope, and abandon. Signatures. Every soul has a signature, yet few can perceive them. The liar must be Belial. Hope, I think, must be Hawk. And abandoned must be Gaul. Well, that makes it very easy. <laughs> I love how you could be like, let's fight. It is against all law to spill blood within this sanctum. My blood, above all others. <laughs> it is illegal to spill blood, but very much my blood. And then you can you can you can have a look around, but you 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 gotta just walk through this. So, Ready. oh, and the mic's changed again. We are ready to pass through the gate to the three worlds beyond. Go. Go. Unto the realms of beyond. Eternity beckons. Okay. And now we are... Well, we're in a... How do I put it? We've got a gate here. Oh my gosh. Hi there. Oh no, the ceiling's come towards us. <laughs> Actually, it's not. But, um, yeah, this happens. So, uh, welcome to, uh, everyone's favorite part of the game. Uh, if you've played this game before... Yeah. And if you haven't played this game before... Yeah. Uh, how do I describe what's going on here? Uh, there's a machine here. This machine requires brains. Here's one here. There are... 16 brains scattered around this labyrinth of gray. Go find them. There's one here, which is also always a, a cheeky one. 
Uh, and if you wander around, this is this is how I mentally map this out. If you wander around, you'll find another one here. Uh, keep going a bit. You'll probably find it. I mean, they stand out because they're big and red. But you do have to kind of be nearish them. So the point is, there's two, you know, in front and behind the machine. And there's another three around, around the loop before you get back to the beginning. So you should have five at this point. Alright. As we wander through, you're also going to notice other enemies spawning. So I like going down here and going downstairs. You'll find one at the end of this dead end. And if we wander completely the opposite direction... Well, we gotta find enemies. Brains! You should find one in the, the opposite end. Um, this whole kind of corridor area, it loops around. So I'm gonna go along this lower route here. I mean, these enemies are not very strong. Uh, <laughs> it looks a little confusing, but trust me. Um, this will lead up to a sort of room here. Um, how do I how do I put it? In each compass direction of this map, there's kind of this larger kind of courtroom part. Uh, you're gonna find another brain on the floor, but also each of these courtrooms always has like two lower doors and a upper door in the middle. So if you have like one of these staircases down, just know there's an upper door. Uh, you'll also see a heart. What's that? Looks like a pulsing heart. It doesn't do anything, but it's just there as a bit of a waypoint. So keep walking around and we should sort of hit a mirror of where I've went before. It is, yeah, true. Plants vs. Zombies. I, I do like Plants vs. Zombies. Do I do I know it enough to like give it justice on stream? I'm not too sure, but you know, it probably I've played a like Mirror's Edge and Mario Galaxy 2, and they're newer than that game. And I've also teased just playing Mirror's Edge, uh, the sequel, which is a what 2019 title. So, uh, anyways, um, yeah. So you can tell that we've sort of mirrored around here. Oh, hi there. That's all good. Anyways, head up the staircase, and you should be able to get back to the center now. But let's not go into the center. Let's head, uh, not the stairs. Let's go across this way. Uh, love that. That's not the walls moving. Uh, I have, uh, we should be able to see in this screen? This screen? Eleven. I have eleven brains. And don't worry, I know exactly where the rest are because I, I'm an absolute pro at this. Uh, so wander right here. And you should have one of these three-prong corridors. That's right. I'm pretty sure one of these corridors doesn't actually have, like, two brains. I think it actually might be this one. Yeah, it might be this one. This one throws you off because of that. They shouldn't have put the one behind the machine and instead just been consistent. Um, but anyway, let's head right. That's where we entered from. We're going to basically just do a lap around uh, anti-clockwise. Or counterclockwise if you're American. Yeah, the miniature Evers. Uh, look at the right, staircase down, staircase across. I mean, you could use any weapon if you wanted to, so it doesn't really <laughs> restrict to that. Two brains. Up the staircase, we'll go anti-clockwise one more time. I know it sort of turns around. And you should see another door on your right. Somewhere around here. Hey, the one part that I actually do remember about this game is the, the darn brain maze. Pretty much, I, I do... It's a cool area. It's just that it's so... Vapid and a bit repetitive. And also, if you have no idea where the brains are, you're screwed. Also, unlike many other mazes in this game, um, this one does not have any maps at all. So all the people who try to visually plot out this area. Yeah, it's kind of tricky, especially when it keeps turning around and twisting around. And following the enemies isn't really helpful, although you can tell where there's dead enemies, so you sort of use that to breadcrumb where you are. But uh, yeah, just wander around this way. We're back to the center, and I have indeed picked up enough brains. That's all good. Another game I want to finish, Soonish's Dread Delusion. It's basically the style of game without a party, or maybe uh, Test 1 or Test 2, unless you mean the Elder Scrolls. 
The graphics fit well. Brains over brawn, yes. The graphics fit well, does the classic evoking the look. I actually, I started playing, um, uh, Shining in the Darkness as well, so... Oh, you mean the Elder Scrolls? Yes. Now, unfortunately, um, yeah, you, you have to... You have to... Equip... The brains... One... At... A time... Constantly... Opening... The inventory... To equip... The brains... So, you can use them. You'll hear a bell. You've done it. Also, there's a boss. You don't have to fight him. You're telling me you're going to skip the... He's a bit of a joke. He's a bit of a joke. Uh, that was it, by the way. That's the brain maze. That's one thing that people apparently really hate about this game. The brain maze. What are you doing? They're doing some wrestling over there. Oh uh, yeah, also did you remember that? <laughs> did you notice that she didn't even... Me, as it once was. She didn't even like follow. Forget the boy. Forget the boy. It is nothing. It is all falling into place. What the hell's going on here? Ah. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Oh my gosh, a hobo. Tell him he has a trait for a companion. Tell him Rebecca Jane. Tell him. Rebecca Jane? RJ. Oh man, should have changed her last oh name God, first. Adam, I'm so sorry. I couldn't tell you. I didn't think you'd trust me. What are you talking about? <laughs> didn't even read the letters. I skimmed through them. For many years, I was Florentine's disciple. This is the RJ that is briefly mentioned in those letters that I skimmed through because the font is very those hard letters, to read. They were from me. Dear. And you're forced to pick these up, so <laughs> the game can actually attest to these. At him? You? Much older. Uh. <laughs> <She's>... <laughs> I was going to mention the cobwebs. Get off me! Don't. Don't. Yeah! Hating women, yeah! <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, no, it, <laughs> that, that is a, that is a good question, why was she helping? Anyways, we go through the portal again, only to come up in this room with very dim lighting, so <laughs> was, oh boy. Hi. Goodness reflects the light. And evil bears the seeds of all darkness. Oh no, they told him to do a British accent. Choose well. And the gate shall be yours. <laughs> oh no. So uh welcome to uh this this is a... How do I put it? This is a meme area. That's all I can say. Pretty much. How do I put this? Uh, you got you got this this chair over here. Adam doesn't even comment on anything anymore. He doesn't need to say anything. Um, obviously you got poopy water. Don't touch the poopy water. It's not good for you. Um, if you go completely across, you'll witness. Uh, I guess you'll probably see these mirrors. Uh, but every time you go close to a mirror, um, this guy comes up. And no matter what you do, you just can't seem to beat him. If only you could destroy where he came from. This actually gets rid of the guy. But uh, every single one of them 
it's gonna do the same thing. So you have to go up to the mirror. Oh, I didn't even, the guy didn't even spawn there. <laughs> um, but yeah, there's four mirrors in there, and then, uh, well, we're gonna do a lap. We're gonna do a lap. We're gonna take out every single mirror that's around the building, and also I'm shooting at it. It's not a- is he disabled? Maybe. You know, I meant to- you know, I meant to make fun of him. He's sensitive about that. I don't really know what's up with the three arms. Or the hood. Or his, like, clown shoes. <laughs> uh... Sometimes you can shoot the mirror, but... I mean, you might as well just wander up to it and use your melee, because... <laughs> It really doesn't mean much. So you can- oh, true. Yeah, exactly. Something about Adam fighting his inner psyche. That's why he's, he's got reflections. There's probably a bunch of, like, deeper metaphors that maybe the writers, like, really intended. The mirror effects are cool. I always like that, but, uh... Oh, he punched me in the nuts. That's not fun. Uh, I think we've done it, so, yeah, once once you've done the lap, and you've broken every mirror, you just walk up to the chair and you're done. Yeah, yeah, if it wasn't a random green dude, that you'll never see again. Anyway, we're back in the for back in the garden again. Ooh. 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 <laughs> Thank you, Hawk Tour. You have a job to do, Adam. Hawk. That girl that was with me. Rebecca. Have you seen her? No. She is beyond my perceptions. <laughs> yeah. Be careful. He's, he's the reason why you'll, you'll only Where have you bosses going? from here on out. The chamber of the soul stone. I must meet with Gaul and await the gathering. It happens once, every 1,000 years. For so many lifetimes and realities, the gathering has passed without notice. Now the seventh and last seal quakes. The touch of a mortal. A mortal who dares bend the law to himself. It looks like Florentine's going to win, doesn't it? If he does, the ultimate power of darkness will manifest within the shell that is Gore. Only you have the power to... DJ RJ? But be warned, for you also have the power to perpetuate it. The fate of the world has begun. Florentine started it. You will complete it. You and the sword. I must go now. I have been delayed for too long. <laughs> too busy chatting. We'll again. I guarantee it. Okay. <laughs> exactly. Welcome to chapter 17, Father of Lies. Uh, yeah, we're, we're back in the garden again. There's nothing in the garden. Like, the w I hate that it keeps spawning you back here because you keep thinking, oh, time to go. Nope. Nope, we just go better than the new Green Day album. I hear there's a lot of very average or below average Green Day albums. Uh, so we go to the portal and welcome to, uh... Fire. This... This is the culmination of puzzle. This is- we're like, oh my gosh, we have puzzle ideas. What do we do? So, how do we put it? This looks like Doom. Sort of. It, 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 it looks like, um, E2M9. If you have ever, ever played that one. It's sometimes called Dis on the console versions, but it's not, it's not Dis on the PC, so. Uh, fun interview is, uh, the one with the old Age of Empires dude. Forgot if he was the director about how Microsoft told him to put Koreans into the Age of Empires 2 The Conquerors because StarCraft were doing so well in Korea. Oh! <laughs> it was like, but it's about Conquerors. <laughs> Yeah, uh, so, how do we put this? There are... Eight... 
chambers here. Each chamber, or some of the chambers have like this thing on the floor, but each chamber has a thing on the wall. Click the thing on the wall and the door next to it will lower, leading to a puzzle. There are eight completely different puzzles going on in this place. And uh, you gotta somehow figure out all of them. Uh, this puzzle is mean. This is guess, <laughs> guess how to continue on the floor. If you step on anywhere wrong, it tells you off. I believe you gotta walk third from the left till you are three from the front. Walk left, forward, right, and then you're good. Or are you good? Because now you have to somehow walk backwards. And you'd think, you'd think this is, oh, just remember where you went. Nope. Nope. It is walking, uh, what is that? Two forward, two left, three forward, one right, back up one, right one, forward one, right one, uh, right another one, forward? That's mean. Uh, you don't. You trial and error until the, you, you die or the floor, like, does what you want it to do. You literally have to walk the right path. I said there's eight puzzles. I didn't say they're all, <laughs> they're all fun. Uh, I'm gonna go clockwise around here. Um, all right, the next puzzle, clockwise. This one is actually not that bad, but it seems a little odd because you have a wonderful control panel. Your goal is this little tiny hole in the corner. Uh, you have the ability to move the various platforms left and right. This one moves kind of left and right a ton, so move that across there. And then you can move them forward and back. You'll see there's like three sets of pillars on each side. They basically move forward and back like one spot. And you can sort of smell that uh, what you're meant to do is something along the lines of... Uh, this, I guess. There you go. It seems a little odd, but basically now I'm going to go just walking speed. You're meant to do your diagonals because, you, you, you know, the ceiling's too low. You can't jump it. And then you can sort of fit in. And then, uh, yeah, hit the button and you can go out. It's not a... This one's not like a crazy cryptic puzzle, but it's just like you have to sort of think of it. Uh, the floor is ouch. It is an ouchy floor. There's nothing hidden or secret about it. And then we're good there. That's two puzzles down. These puzzles, some of them get worse, I believe. Is this one? Yeah, this one can get pretty annoying. Um, how do I put it? All right, we've got another maze. Uh, when you stand on some of these platforms, a thing will shoot at you sometimes. But you can jump over them. So it's actually not too bad. Uh, your goal is to navigate the maze and try to find... You'll see some walls have like a, you know... I guess a force field in front of them. Don't look for the force field ones. You want to look for, uh, well, other holes. Crouch. Oh yeah, true. You could crouch. Can it? No, you can't get on. There. No, you can't crouch. <laughs> they won't let you climb up onto the platforms otherwise. So, um, but yeah. Uh, fortunately, if I mean, if they're looking at one of these like death platforms, don't worry about the hidey holes. Uh, but some of the hidey holes. Well, actually, yeah, they all have mirrors, and some are blocked off. Also, they keep moving, which is very interesting. Uh, but your goal is to just look around and try to find the next one that isn't broken. And then it does this cool effect. And I like that. That's fun. <laughs> Hi, you want to... There you go. Break the mirror. This reveals another one somewhere. Yeah, it's a, it's a cool trippy effect. I like it. Uh, I already broke that one. I already broke that one. There's only so many of these, so... 700. <laughs> yeah, we've broken so many mirrors today. I always say that this one isn't even a mirror. It's just a, a wall there. Uh, I think it's this one. Once you do that... The lights turn off, and you're good. And then, uh, you just wander into this room. I don't know why there's, like, a little tiny hidey hole here. You just stand on this, and you're done. That's it. 
and then we're good. If you if there's no force field on this, you've done the puzzle. So you're all good there. Uh, one of these I hate. It's this one. This one I hate. Uh, it doesn't look like much, but uh, click the button. The bottom row fires. Are you ready? We have seven switches. Hit a switch. A random, not random. It is deterministic, but a set of the. The levers moves up and down, and you just need to trial and error, trying lots of combinations until you find the one that you're looking for, one of these. I mean, it's only two to the power of seven. It's only 128 different possible combinations. Dang it. <laughs> um, I mean, you don't, you don't have to even think of it because you know it's the... <laughs> yeah, whoops. The, the annoying part is you have to get the bottom one working and then you have to get the top one working. So, uh, yeah, we sort of solved it the other way. Um, it's not too bad. So the the way that I do it, no, no, no. The, the way the way that I do it, this is this is binary exhaustion. Is you do switch one, then you switch two and one, and then you do three, two, one, two, one. And the idea is that as you keep going, you do a round of each, like bit there. No, no, I got this. Four, three, two, one, three, two, one, two, one, five, four, three, two, one, four, three, two, one, three, two, one, two, one, six, five, four, three, two, one, five, four, three, two, one, four, three, two, one, three, there we go. And now you can see the other side goes. So, okay. That was like one, three, five, six, five, or something. I didn't hit the last one, so I know it's not the last one. Oh, look at that. Easy. I got it. I got it. I got it. It's good. It's good. <laughs> we did it. It's not as bad. Because you can click the buttons really quickly. That's why it's actually not that bad. Next one. Okay, uh, this one is fortunately not that bad, but you have to realize that this, like, wood can be broken, uh, and then it tells you off for trying to attack it. Uh, now, this is, this is just a shooting gallery. This is just, you have to aim at exactly the right amount, but there's no, like, I mean, there's no, like, ammo or missed opportunity. You just have to make sure you get it right. It's neat. I like it. We get to reuse the gems from... Of Lemon's... Oh, lemon's aim? Yeah, it is lem Lemon's aim. That's really not that bad. Okay. Next one. Uh, this one may be the one I like the least. Yeah, I like this one the least. Uh, we have a crystal maze. It's really small. The button's in the middle. We have... Lots of combinations of switches. And there's a specific combination that lets you get in. They raise and they lower other walls and it's really hard to see. It is like the Ice Cube Maze in Mario 64, yes. The colors are cool. The colors are cool, yes. But it is very, very difficult to know what you're doing. It is very difficult. I don't like it. Like I saw... How do I put it? Oh, like right there. We're like right there. Oh. Yeah, I, yeah. this is worse than the brain, ma brain maze in my opinion. Like it's like actual like tragic. 
All right, we need a, we need a rhyme and a reason. So we're gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna hit the button. So we hit one. I'm gonna do the two one. The problem is that unlike the other one, where it's like you can do trial and error like right away, this one is like you basically got to try all your combinations. So two. Undo one. And we just like keep pushing at it from like all directions. Because you can only enter in like a couple of the walls. So it doesn't matter too much. Yeah, this is proper brute force. But like you can't see what you're doing. You know, <laughs> like it's really hard. I think you have to maybe mentally draw out what the maze is. But the, the walls are so thin. Oh. We did it! <laughs> we did it! <laughs> cool, okay. Alright, I believe there's two more puzzles. Uh... Okay, this one's not too bad. <laughs> that was, yeah, it was a bit anticlimactic. This one's not too bad, this one's a proper puzzle. So if you click... If you click this, you'll clearly see something happening here. And uh, if you can try to visually spot that that's on the bottom right corner, basically every single one of these balls is above one of these. And when you reorient that, it actually points it in a different direction. And your goal is to somehow shoot it up there. Which means obviously this one here in the bottom left corner has to be going up, right? So uh, I'm playing Void Stranger. I currently have uh, to either somehow find the clue I missed to the solution of a puzzle or brute force a puzzle with 17- Oh, 17 binary switches is pain. Because what is that, like 128,000? That That is going to take a while. For reference, the one before was 7. And every time you add a switch, you double the time. So, yeah, good luck. <laughs> also, yeah, Ricochet Gaming. Um, now, there's a couple of different kind of places you can step up. So, I actually might find that you want to go... Actually, you want to go, like, left here, don't you? Yeah. Then you can go that way and hit that, which allows you to cross, cross like that. Yep. That lets you then go up here. Yeah, well, it's not even factorials. This is, um, exponents. So, but yeah, it's, 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 it's gnarly. No, it, it's 17 switches, but the amount of work is 2 to the power of 17. And that's why it gets, like, more annoying. Fortunately, it's not a factorial, but... Factorials grow worse. I like how you have to hit it twice as well. You have to be double... Double sure. We do need the Interrobang, yes. Alright, one last puzzle. It's so bad, I'm gonna save in front of it. Uh, it's not because you die, it's because I die on the inside. <laughs> um, hmm. Yeah, how do I explain it? Uh, mirrors. We have the floor, it constantly moves that way. Like, north, northwest. Every time you see it going not northwest, that's a wall. You have mirrors constantly on the north side. So you're constantly gonna walk into... Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. How are mirrors real if our eyes aren't real? You're gonna constantly wander into dead ends that don't look like dead ends until you realize the floor's going the other way and there's a guy walking towards you. There's not actually any enemies, but it is like... Oh boy. Oh boy, like... <laughs> why? Why have they done this to me? It's cool though. But, oh boy. Oh boy. I think, like, to sum up, is like, this is sort of how I've found all the puzzles of this game. It's like, I like it in concept, or in theory, but, oh boy. Oh boy. That's a, that's a... Yeah, I think that's in Bang, that one. Yeah. Look, I mastered the two maze games on Poke Mini. This is nothing. Yeah, this one's not too bad. Like... I, I mean, there's no... Bridges. So, hug the left wall, you get there. Maybe. 
I, th I hope. I hope there's no loops. Wherever the heck I'm going now. There is a switch. There is a switch. The poison area in Pokemon Red. That one's okay though, because like you could, that mostly fits on screen. Uh, something's a bit odd. Oh, maybe. Maybe. We're we good. No. No. Constantly, like, getting turned around as well. Uh-huh. I somehow wandered back to the beginning. <laughs> I didn't find the key. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's, like, along the right wall here. Like, it's... It's fairly shallow into the maze. It doesn't actually, like, extend out. Man... When I was practicing this, I found the switch real easily, but then I did not manage to figure out how to escape very easily. This maze probably isn't that bad if you're uh, just, you know, not looking at the not looking at the mirrors. Turn around, turn around. Ah, oh, there you go. There's two buttons. Alright, uh, now you press the button, now they've added more mirrors. The maze itself didn't change, but they added more mirrors, which I think is worse. <laughs> Somewhere in that direction. Oh, and you also have this green bit. There's a green bit for some reason. I don't know why. I think it's to just make sure you don't get too lost. But uh, it's somewhere over on my left, as long as you don't get yourself too turned around. To get there. Just don't turn around. <laughs> nope, I'm wandering to that wall. I don't think the green is the way to go. Uh, somewhere, somewhere in that direction. <laughs> what if I want to turn around? Oh, oh. Oh my gosh. Oh. What do you say in mazes anyways? They're amazing. Oh, oh, I think we're good. Yeah, yeah. Okay. That was a lot of walking forward. Yes. Okay. Yes. No. Yes. Use DFS. Oh, true. Oh, you could turn off the textures if you really wanted to. <laughs> also, you should... Yeah, yeah, D DFS is... I mean, DFS is literally the hugging the left wall strat, by the way. There you go. There you go. We got out. We got out. Yeah, uh, for reference, yeah, like... You could cheat. Oh. Well... <laughs> Never mind, not when you leave. Then all the walls are black. Yeah, it's a bit it's a bit curious. Uh okay. Now comes the final. This is the final puzzle of the game. But it hurts. Every single one of these directions has a thing here. I'm gonna turn this one around to the bottom. You need to turn all of these down to the bottom. Now that sounds straightforward, right? You had eight of them. Um, yeah, turn it, turning one turns another one. So we go to the next one, which turned, uh, the one opposite it. I don't know what the floor means. I really, I don't quite know what's going on here. Okay, so now we turn, so let's say this is, I guess, position one, and we go two, three, four, five, and position one I have as the one facing left. So, I guess three effects, six. It's not the direction that you're pointing as well. I think that's literally just a compass direction. Yeah, it's, that's literally a compass direction. Actually, yeah, maybe, maybe let's... 
Maybe let's start at this one as one, and then two, three. So I've done three. Three changes four, five changes one. Write these down. This is on the this is on the test, yeah. Six changes eight. And then seven, which you Oh, snap. Well, okay, never mind. That was actually really easy because I had it the right way around. We got a boss! And he fires stuff at you, because of course he does. Fight me. You could run away. But why would you? Ow. Come and face me, Adam! Face the fire of your soul! It burns! <laughs> they did get Dingo Doll. It will burn you! Uh, he's really not that bad. Uh, he does have a piece of paper on him. Uh, this piece of paper. Oh, where is the piece of paper? I've Magical. Here. Magical. I guess it'd be harder if I had it on the hard difficulty, but even then... Scroll bearer, you now possess the magical the magic of perdition shield, the power which will protect you from purging fire. Use it well. Okay, sure. Well, that was straightforward, wasn't it? Through the portal. And uh yeah, that's that's the long actually this isn't even the end of the chapter technically. Here we go. Uh but yeah, no, we're still here. We're still here. That's right, back through the portal again. Again. Uh, we are now in, um... Skyland? Uh, you're gonna get attacked by dudes. But with the magical scroll, you actually still get hurt by them. What's the point? Hi, magic dudes. Yeah, okay. <laughs> um... If you wander around here, there's actually a big tower over there. And uh, we're going to completely ignore this lake and uh, glowy orb right there. Because, uh... Maybe you have to use the scroll? Maybe. Where are the scrollers? I mean, I know there's this one, but... Magic. I think it's used in a cutscene. It's not even that important, actually, as well. Like, since it's used for a cutscene, you could just ignore it. This tower was not this big on the on the um outside, by the way. What the hell? I'm getting an awful familiar feeling from this place. But why? <laughs> hmm. Like I've somehow been here before. A long time ago. Have you been here before? Yes. Uh, but yeah, no, healing potion in case you need it, which I might as well. Wherever it is. I'll just drink the other ones, I guess. Still got the red feather, you know? Um, but yeah, it's like, oh, you remember this from like... An hour 40 ago? From the house? When this music was playing? Yes, exactly that. Exactly that. Why they're doing a visual illusion here? Uh... Probably the really harbor in, um... I thought, yeah, legit, this building was not that big on the, uh... On the, uh... The outside. I think they're doing a world portal jump there. Alright. Um... Yeah. Uh, wander over towards, uh, this. Oh, she's just, just chilling here. Rebecca? The bush key? Yeah, it was like Rebecca? a green key. You could just, you could just tell her to, to buzz off, but nah, I'm gonna wake her. In, with the way that men know how. Oh, just actually freeing her. Ooh. Adam. <laughs> so you say that she was a traitor. Also, it's, it's sniffing your fingers, bro. <laughs> oh, never mind. Listen. Indeed. Oh, hi there. <laughs> Just grabs your face. What have you done with her? I have done nothing with her. Then again, why would you believe anything I said? 
you got that right. What now? I would have thought that to be most obvious. For no reason but this, you are going to die. Okay. You better do your best. Because if I'm going out, I'm taking you with me. Oh, he's crawling away. Uh, but yeah, there he is. Uh, you can actually, um, I'm pretty sure you can walk up to him and you get this cutscene where he, uh, he just casually stabs you. <laughs> I believe, actually, yeah, I believe if you don't have the scroll, he pretends to be you and he's standing there right away. But uh, yeah, yeah, don't walk up to him. There is no armor against fate, Adam. Death lays his hands even on kings. Rip. Don't think you won. Excuse me. I said, don't think you won. It isn't a question of winning, Adam. It's a question of dying. And you are dying. Have you ever thought of death? <laughs> Not lately. Not lately. I thought you'd say that. That's right, he goes in for the... <laughs> Freaking twist the wiener! Just twist oh. the wiener! That is an incredible cutscene, by the way. Oops. Well, it's not like we have to visit anywhere else, do we? Literally just <laughs> wander there. Yes, I know, I'm missing a health potion. Oh no. There's plenty of health potions, it's fine. Uh, you could also leave it to her own fate if you wanted to. It's sort of, it's, it, the game does kind of forget <laughs> that, like, she's even in your body from this point onwards. And then you just fight. But, uh, yeah, no, you just fight him. Hold on, I will legit, like, save in a new slot just so you can, just so you can be happy. Just so you can be happy. Oh. Good aim. Oh. Yep, there you go, we killed him. Seems to be a charge coming from this. There's these other guys come at me. Dead. Nothing on him. Oh well. Time to click on the thing. This begins chapter 18, Threads, like the social media network. That's not Blue Sky, by the way. Uh, that, that leads me to another topic. There is literally no dialogue here. This is a run around and don't get killed by people kind of map. In fact, the whole chapter, uh, you literally just need to walk from point A to point B and not die. And it will take like three minutes. No, 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 we'll hit the end, and then we- and then we see what happens when you save her. Because you want to see what happens when you don't have her in your- <laughs> your party, right? Yeah. Uh, but, yeah, it's literally a walkway. Um... But, yeah, uh... We got a- we got a, a fun topic of yelling at people- this is a very- I love- Dude, I- okay, real talk. I love the aesthetic of, like, a lot of these just places with the, the sky floor and all that. Um, you gotta deal with these enemies just blocking your path, but it's not that bad. I mean, 
and you got a bunch of recharging weapons. You notice I've not been, like, you get the pistol, you get the shotgun, you got to worry about ammo, and then you proceed to never worry about ammo for the rest of the game because you have these, like, reloading weapons. There's so many of them. You, you don't even have to take out the same guy, you just walk past him, he's just standing there. Um, and then it's just wandering through a cave. So, uh, true, the suspension of this glitch is always, always good. I mean, we've established, like, you know, the fantasy... The fantasy setting's pretty alright. Um... Oh yeah, exactly. There's something kind of nice about, like, just this grainy, kind of 90s look. This is what I mean by, like, that's the whole chapter right there. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> Welcome to chapter 19. Oh, it was a three minute walk because I forgot to save right before it and I want to do a dialogue option that is going to get me killed. So, <laughs> that one's on me. Oh, he's got cool glasses! Welcome. Oh. Your killing Belial was such pleasant entertainment. I couldn't do it myself, you see, but with his bestowed immortality. The laws governing the sorcery wouldn't sanction it, but now he is gone, and that leaves you. You, my dear boy, and I. Not for much longer. You know, I think he means to kill me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That would be unwise, Adam. No, no, he's got this. about the Shrive is useless against Florentine's flesh. For as long as he remains within the chamber. <laughs> <laughs> the sword and Shrive were once one. And this chamber is the last place in creation where they can become one again. Only then. When the two are joined. And my flesh be destroyed. Well, he's spelling it out. Just stick it on, bro. It is, it is on the title. So, uh... <laughs> yeah, it's a rusty door, yeah. Uh... So, uh, what do we do? I guess we just, uh... We just say, you're not my master. Forget it. I'm not fighting you. Not until you tell me what's happened to Rebecca. What do you mean, what's happened? <laughs> You ask me what has become of her? I rather thought you would have the answer to that. <laughs> nice. Uh... I am the only thing that stands between you and the restoration of balance. Order. Once again to the world of mankind. No. You're hiding something. It is cool, yes. I'm gonna go with my instinct. <laughs> Although the cards haven't meant and anything up to this point, so it's kind of just like I don't know, maybe they just wrote it in to do that. Go on then. Go on then. Go on, then. Does this make your task any easier? <laughs> oh, oh, I'll get him from behind. Are you ready? <laughs> there he goes.
Seven be thou, by the seven to come, the power of one. Thy will be done. Very nice. That's a bit terrifying, isn't it? Uh, that counts as a death, and uh, guess who didn't save uh, at all? <laughs> we'll get him, don't worry. <laughs> yes, I know, that means I gotta do my three minute walk again. That wasn't even three minutes. Okay, there we go, we did it. Through the portal, through the portal, through the portal. Hi, through the portal. Through the portal. Are we not going through the portal? Have to see that he's dead. Nothing hidden here. Nothing hidden here. They just really want me to kill these guys. Nothing. Nothing there. What do you mean nothing? Nothing there. Nothing dead. Nothing. 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 Nothing there. Is it not an item I picked up like automatically? Seems to be a charge coming from this. Can't work. Nothing dead. Nothing on him. Dead. Dead. Nothing on him. It worked automatically last time. Uh, I guess we go back that tiny bit further. That's what I get for. Oh my gosh! Look at that, free free potion. To be fair, I think that cutscene really doesn't change that much, so... Listen, I might as well save her, I'll save her... And then we fight this guy... Oh, I realize he's holding on to the sword as you do this, that's why... Should probably heal then. Maybe, yeah, it could have been, could have been an item that I'm just not holding on to. These things are kind of annoying, aren't they? Ow. Ow. I'm trying to like click on this like tiny man over there. See, it's definitely holding on to a bit more back then. But okay. Other than that, this whole section is basically the same, so we'll just power walk through it. Da, 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 da. You don't even need the healing at this point. Yeah, maybe, maybe it was a bug. I'll give it another go in, in, a, in a hot second, but we'll we'll continue on with Rebecca. Honestly, though, it really doesn't change that much. Uh, for the sole reason of why, or partially why, I didn't show the. Uh, the, like, the real ending there. <laughs> I just sort of left it there. Um, but I briefly wanted to mention a lot of people... I, 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 I briefly said the name Blue Sky. Um, just want to mention that, yeah, Twitter, or X, as it's sometimes referred to, nah. Twitter has a new terms and conditions that basically says it's okay for people to train AI using models that... Oh, sorry, using data from Twitter. Uh, to which, I guess... The, uh, the obvious statement should be, we have reached this point via lots of Facebook, Instagram, all the other social media platforms. Twitter is just the first one to flat out say it's okay. But just assume that all the AI stuff is training off it anyways. And maybe it trains off it even if they said you can't. So, okay, here's our cutscene. It's literally the same cutscene. Forget it. I'm not fighting you. Not until you tell me what's happened to Rebecca. That hard. <laughs> Hold on, is it the same cutscene? It's the same cutscene? 
Are you telling me it doesn't matter? Your choice is an illusion? <laughs> That's right. It didn't matter. All it did was it changed the boss fight slightly. I am the only thing that stands between you and the restoration of balance. Yeah, it's literally the same thing. So anyway, uh, time's on my side. <laughs> That's how you continue. Uh, he was holding onto the sword and the shrine. Also, ouch. So he was attacking you with the sword as opposed to a different projectile, and you couldn't use the sword yourself. But that was it. <laughs> Look at that, he stopped. Oh, well, there she is. Maybe it changes this cutscene, actually. I may be mistaken. <laughs> Dude, imagine having a deck of cards and it's all jokers. I love this reaction though, it's just like... <sighs> it just kind of happens. So hi there. Oh, oh, oh. Amazing throw. Amazing throw. Uh, sure, yeah. <laughs> well, that was pretty easy, wasn't it? Just a good throw. There you go. There you go. <laughs> Turns out he wasn't breathing for three minutes. Agreed. Your time in this world has ended. A fool's hand is a dead man's hand. A fool. It's all jokers. It's all. Prophecy what? Will be fulfilled. <laughs> the choir had a moment. This guy doesn't do anything other than draw cards. <laughs> nice. He did not want to sit in front of a green screen and fall, apparently. If you'd used eternity against Florentine, you would have smashed this. Ah. Oh. Seventh seal. Good thing we didn't. We never stood a chance. Good thing I'm we didn't. Stupid. I'm not crazy. I'm not so sure about that. Alf. I hear the thread calling. Our time here is almost at a close. Rebecca, you must also join the weave. Join the weave? <laughs> you the Dude, I, I actually want to like call it like, because we're almost done. Like, uh, there's a little bit after I'm this. Sorry, Adam. So I want to see what happens. It must properly, properly see that happen. Well, that's it? It's over? It's over? 
I'm sorry I lied to you. I just had to make sure you got this. But my gut feeling is like she's fine. She just breaks out anyways. She's just there. Because otherwise, then you I'll have to do there. this whole cutscene differently. In the dream. No way would they spend all the effort on that. I'll pee with you in your dreams. Oh, he got the smooch in the end. He got the smooch. Very nice. Take the sword. Restore the balance. Oh, he's tipping it. He's tipping the balance. So be it. swords do that usually. Oh. <laughs> That's the joys of being in front of a green screen. You could just have cut cuts like that. You just go for it. To some degree, I still don't know what they did the here, the but star, it's probably in a bunch of papyrus font time. reading. If you are caught within it, you will perish. Now, Adam, go. Take flight and flee this place. Time is short. Be warned. Though Belial and Florentine are dead, the temple must surely harbor remnants of evil. Uh, no, no, there is one singular remnant of evil that must be destroyed before. My boy, your heart has already spoken. Oh, oh. Oh no, it's cutscenes ending. And welcome to the final, 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 final chapter. Or you would if I saved the game here. And let's try to do the be happy again. So let me go back here. Da, 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 da. Back here. We want to see what this cutscene is like. To not save her. So, yeah, for reference, I've got the sword. I'm holding onto the sword right now. We leave her to her own fate. I'm still holding onto the sword. And he's attacking with the, like, the staff. really not that bad, is he? Yeah, if you save it, because, because, uh, I don't know, he picks up the sword first. Like, he puts down nothing the sword. Did. Nothing, nothing there. <gasps> of course, of course I just did that. <laughs> of course I just did that. <laughs> that was a, that was a silly <sighs> Equip the other eye. That's probably it. Like, maybe I, there was something. I just completely ignored it. And now I'm, like, whizzing through it. I'm like, oh, no. It's, it, it is another flashlight moment, then. I 
gonna get tortured by this flashlight, like, constantly being part of why I suck at video games, apparently. Nothing hidden here. Oh, we need to take these guns out. Because they're just annoying. Alright, save here. This is the... the be happy. Alright, rusty door hinge. Nothing dead, nothing, nothing there. Hmm. Seems to be a charge coming from this. Can't work out what it is. Nothing there. I mean, I'm holding on to the... the shrive itself. I mean, it seems a bit odd. Hold on, like, yeah. Oh, it must be the sword. It, it must be the sword. Yeah, yeah, it's the sword. It's because you need to pick up the sword. That's that's exactly what it is. And I think the reason why it seems so easy when I saved Rebecca is because the sword was... Like, I just picked it up. Like, that's, that's the angle it was going for. Now I have to do the fun three-minute walk again. Like, it's just a straight <laughs> passageway. It's just... There's no, no alternatives. I had to f finally finish up my Blue Sky story. Uh, so point is, lots of people are leaving Twitter because they believe that the Twitter has that. Also, um, they made it so if you block people, they still see what you're saying. They just can't reply to you. Um, which I think is, like, fine because you can't people just use Twitter or alternative accounts if they wanted to get around, like, viewing people through blocks. It is a nice place. It's got a cool cave as well. We got to reuse the cave from earlier. Okay, we're saving on the be happy save. Legit though, I don't think this changes anything from this point on because, you know... No. <laughs> because, I mean, Rebecca's gone anyways. You will do as I command. <laughs> but yeah, if, if Rebecca shows up, I'm just skipping this cutscene, bro. It's the same cutscene. <laughs> Tomo arigato, Mr. Roboto. <laughs> Oh, look at that, she just shows up anyways. No, it's the same cutscene. It's the same cutscene. It doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, man. I, this is the same cutscene. Yeah. What a shame. Anyways, we gotta get the heck out of Dodge. So, uh, did we fight these guys in this part? Like, this that's literally where I got the... Oh, the cannon. Also, why does it put you here? I don't know. To win the final battle, you just have to tell the dude I'm not fighting you. No, 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 you... Yeah, yeah, you literally just say... Yeah, yeah, this is the room with the... The bit. Um, anyways, the uh, whole point is uh, we need to get the heck out of Dodge. We need to get out of here. So, open the door. We're going this way. Do you remember where we go? Also, the building's closing, you know, burning behind you. I don't think it's, like, chasing you. I think it literally just breaks behind you. So it's nothing really too dramatic. And there's not any enemies at all until you get into the main lobby itself. And then this guy just casually shows up. That's right, we have one final, final, final boss. Um, also, I believe, if you go into your inventory... Uh, you, you remember the staff we had from ages ago? Now's the perfect time to actually just use it. If it hits this guy. Yeah, that was it. Yeah, true, apart from the clones, yeah. That was it, by the way. So, once you defeated him, he drops... Uh, did he drop anything? The ink ribbon's missing. The ink ribbon's missing. I think we're all good. I think we just hit the... Oh, wait. Yeah, sorry. There's a card on the door. And now you're good. And that's it. That's the game. And it really doesn't matter what you choose. Uh, because the staff doesn't recharge. It sort of has a bit of finite ammo on, unless you, like, pick it up from, like, a certain part of the mansion. So 
so you might as well just use the other five weapons that all recharge ammo instead of that one in particular. Oh, you know, casually. Ah, uh, mmm, mmm. So there it is. Mmm. From beginning to end. The whole goddamn story. I know you think I'm crazy. Otherwise, I wouldn't be here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you ready? Ready now, for this? Don't mind. I'd rather you left me now. I'm very tired of this one to sleep. That's understandable, Adam. You've been through a traumatic experience. Tell me about it. You should try to rest a bit. Time for your medication, Adam. What? A cop-out ending. <laughs> like, it was there, it had all this, like, set up, and then they just pulled the psych ward ending. Eh, it's fine. What a meme. What a meme ending to an otherwise pretty alright game. It's got its bits, it's got, it's got its, like, there's parts of the presentation that I still feel it was a little interesting. Like, I know I got personally stuck on the flashlight thing, but I would like to defend myself by saying, hey, you had to double-click to equip items in the moment before. And never again afterwards. I don't know, he's in a psych ward. <laughs> they gave up, they just pulled a psych ward ending. Instead of literally anything, he could have just looked at the mansion and gone, huh, that was a moment. Because it's not like anyone but him would know of any of this. Right? But in, I, I, I can't explain it. I can't explain why they go with the psych ward ending. <laughs> it's so bizarre. It's so bizarre. That being said, though, yeah, I think this game is neat. It's certainly a very curious, and at its best, it's actually very unique. I do like this combination of the first-person shooter with the point-and-click adventure style. And I really feel like their engine really makes this, like, leverage quite nicely. I do wish that it was a bit more, like certain with some of its mechanics um particularly yeah fleshed out yeah yeah fleshed out um definitely the combat after a while it's like oh, it's sort of been there done that um but certainly it's a fairly ambitious game and it doesn't feel like it really was rushed like there's a solid amount of content in there so yeah when retro achievements gets dos support uh i would really love to Play this one. To or not even just to play this one, but to you know make a set if that's all good. The end. And then the music keeps going. <laughs> uh, but yeah, no, I don't have too much more to say about this one. I'm gonna hit play just to kick in with the quieter music. Oh look, I'm still looking at the ground. Blah, 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 blah. Sorcerer. But yeah, no, I really enjoyed this. I think the the art style is great. I certainly think I would have done better. Not getting too stumped on the house. Um, but yeah, no, the aesthetic is real good fun. This is end of DOS as well. It's certainly, it, yeah, it's it's very notable. Um, let me just double check as well. Let me check Steam DB. Uh, because you can indeed buy this game on Steam. It's it's chilling there. Along with uh, Normality, which is uh, another game by the same devs. Um, which you may have heard of. Uh, or, or yeah, you, you may have played it. But yeah, oh yeah, legit lowest price. It is currently like hold on australian dollar four dollars fifty hold on let me get the store page itself not steam tv yeah it's four dollars fifty uh us dollar it's two dollars 99 and it's gone 83 percent off it has actually gone to 50 cents us or 76 australian or yeah in euros um three euro 40 Euro cents. It's done that before, and it regularly does end sales. Uh, regularly does 75%. It sometimes doesn't hit 80%. Still, 75% off that. It's less than a dollar sometimes. It. This is. This is a very, very affordable game for a pretty solid experience. A real, like, solid. Like, the parts that I complain about are fairly fleeting, and uh. 
I think it all comes together pretty okay. Even if you do get a psych ward ending. Okay. There's a yeah. shocking amount of full motion video as well. I am actually very surprised at how how much of the game they could deliver through that. I guess that does eat up probably more of your playtime. Um, so if you ever replay the game, you'll be like, oh, I'm blitzing through these puzzles and I know which items are used with which. But I like the, yeah, the combinations of, you know, like the point and click style and the, the first person shooter style and some awkward bits of platforming here and there. And, uh, you know, chuck some hedge mazes and just some real esoteric stuff in there. But I remember this game quite a lot. Like... I, I remember the brain maze, I remember the, the, the house, I remember the cave with the guy and you give him the, the gem at the end and... Like... Yeah, it's really memorable. It's a real solid one. So... Props to, props to Gremlin. Uh, and uh, definitely, I think this one deserves to be remembered. Definitely. Yeah, it's, it's not, it's not, it's not Concord, it's not Unknown 9. Do I get to make fun of Unknown 9 now? I've never I've never heard of Unknown 9 before in my life. I didn't even like see any announcements of it until it came out. And then I saw basically the only people who played the game were the people who got it for free with the AMD GPUs they just bought. Like, that's it. And a lot of, and like it's like 50% on Steam, and it was rather scathing when it first like the day it came out. Uh, and and that game as well. It's not just a game. It's a cinematic universe, and they're chuck they're chucking in the TV shows and books and things like, and they're doing all this extra stuff. I'm like, why? Just make a game. Make just a thing. Um, I actually have a yeah. I I, I was talking to you, Fetty, about this uh, before, but like the magnitudes of budget. I'd imagine a game like this probably is like a million dollars to make because you got a bunch of people. You need and they spend like a year on it and. Um, and, uh, you know, you got some actors and you got some sets and things like that. I'd probably say about a million dollars. A hundred thousand dollars starts to get to be like a one or two person indie effort for a year. Like, that's what a million dollars, or what a hundred thousand dollars is. A million dollars gets to that. Ten million dollars gets you to be a fairly large company. Like, right off the bat. You get to make, you know, like, like think of your Nintendo titles. You get to make a game over, like three maybe four years you get to have a development team that's like three times larger and you get to spend all the resources on that you generally need like you know lawyers and hr and and you know that kind of stuff but that's 10 million 100 million is like think like gda 4 like that that's massive or even even san andreas i think was like close to 100 million i don't think it was that big but yeah 800 million gets you yeah skull and bones how the heck have we gotten that far up and yet our games are not significantly better than the 10 million dollar titles like there's certainly you can feel the budget out of like a gta or a, another big budget title but like stop at 100 mil the moment you get to 300 it's like what what, what was triple what just what you put in what was quadruple what was octuple like, we're nearing the billion dollar video game. And there's probably a lot more to it, or maybe there's, like, marketing or other kinds of things that, like, you know, if you look at movies, they don't include marketing. Uh, Astro Bot was 100... Yeah, how? Like... Yeah, a, a hor yeah, yeah, that as well. That as well. Like, the... <laughs> we, we require all this, like, neural net, like, machine learning, like, upscaling strategies and all this stuff, and it's like, man, you know, like, the optimization is not there. I completely get that games are harder to make in terms of like getting them visually as you want. Like I know hey, you've got better engines you don't have to think about now, but the engines don't give you the specialized optimizations that you used to have. You used to do very hacky things that got you your results real quick. Um, PS5 Pro is big three, yeah. Yeah, exactly. So, but like... That's, I mean, yeah, the credits were over so quick. I've like blinked and I missed them. Um, but that's how few people, like, it needed to build a game like this. And a lot of other games from the late 90s, you know, we, we don't sit through too many credits because, yeah. Um, the new, the specs for the new Monster Hunter. Oh, boy. Uh, let me look them up right now. We're just chilling. We're just chilling in the mansion, which may or may not have blown up. Uh, what's the game? Monster Hunter Wilds. Here we go. What do we have? Uh, 1080p, 30 FPS, and it's upscale 1080p. Uh, 10600 or 12100F or a 3600 processor and a 1660 Super and 16 gigs of RAM. You're not seeing the RAM requirements shoot crazy amounts. Like, 
it's fairly comfy for people to get 32 gigs of RAM these days. Like, if you're, if you're buying DDR5, unless you're going very budget, you might as well just go for the 32. Like, then you're, then you're set, pretty much. None of these games are pushing that much further. Um, they use some technology, forgot the name, to reach 60 FPS on medium settings, and someone says it means it's badly optimized. Well, yeah, the, the recommended, because that was the minimum. Interpolation, oh, yeah, yeah, the frame generation enabled. That's what it says on the, on the specs. So 60 FPS with frame generation, but it's not upscaled to 1080p. Requires an 11600K or 12400 or a 3600X or a 5500. Real talk though, those processors are about the same. Actually, the 5500 is a decent bit better, but like they had the 3600 and minimum and the 3600X and recommended. And same thing with the 12100 and the 12400 for like Intel's processors. I don't think the processors have really changed between the minimum and the required or the recommended. It doesn't seem too much. 16 gigs of RAM on both. But the big thing is, uh, instead of a 1660 Super, which granted is older and you can't really find a 1660 Super new anymore or a 5600 XT, um, it says 2070 Super, 4060, or a 6700 XT. I think those two NVIDIA GPUs are about right. That makes sense. But uh, the person talking about that also said they should probably just have released the specs for the high settings. That as well, because yeah, I don't know what settings. They say 1080, 60 under medium. Direct storage supported. Hey, we finally got direct storage back. You remember, like, uh, Forspoken had that? And it didn't. It doesn't mean anything, by the way. It actually really doesn't improve your performance that much for some reason. Which screams to me more that the game itself is unoptimized and not the technology. I don't think the technology is to blame here. But yeah, it also says 140 gigs on your, on your SSD. And I think SSDs are getting a fair bit more affordable now. I'd probably say we can start defaulting to SSDs as being available for games. Um, and it can be any SSD. Like, it really, you just need something that doesn't have, like, the chug of a mechanical hard drive. Uh, I just stored the memory directly with my PC. With the power of my mind. Yeah. Uh, pages of specs now. Yeah, I mean... <sighs> Recommended specs means a lot of different things nowadays um, because, yeah, like, usually it's like pick a preset and just run with a resolution and then, like, what's the frame rate? Uh, while we're here, yes. <laughs> I'm just chilling, I'm just chilling. Um, I'm gonna wander around the castle so that visually stuff is happening. <laughs> um... Did you know another one of- Uh, yes, it got double- double compromised. So they had a compromise last week. Uh, and unfortunately, I do have an account with them, so I've changed the password. Uh, because I believe they had salted passwords. I don't have that much, like, information with them, so I don't think I really had anything other than... ...the salted password and my account name, and maybe a username, but... Take it- take a guess what the screen name for Beandale at Beandale.com is. Uh, apparently it's because they had an API key uncovered, able to be used by anyone for two years. Oh my gosh. Listen, okay, real talk. The Internet Archive, I worry about it. They do a good service, but oh boy, are they picking fights with people, at least big companies. Why on earth there are hacker groups going after them now, I don't know. But a part of me feels that the, there's usually, there's, I don't know if there's an internet lore about this, but usually the more uh, brash and headstrong of a personality, uh, a large figurehead of a company is, or even just a personal, a person is, usually the more egregious something underneath is, if that makes sense. And not necessarily saying that, like, there's something insidious about archive.org, but perhaps it's like, yeah, like, their implementation is like, oh boy, you've left API keys around like that. The guy who hacked the Zendesk was like, bros, if I didn't hack this, someone else worse would... I, yeah, if there was... I, I appreciate the white ha uh, hat kind of... Well, the white hat, hat ones would tell them about that before they even expose it. The gray hat ones just say, I'm not doing it for incidents. I'm literally pointing it out, guys, do it. <laughs> like, fix it. Um, generally, the gray hat ones get the job done quicker. And sometimes white hats get punished. For some reason. It's like, they, they've done the right thing. They have pointed out the security flaw. They have told you without telling anyone else. And you punish them? There's sometimes like that. But yeah, in Germany specifically. Um, oh, there's 
probably more to that. But yeah, like, yeah, I saw the second breach. I'm like, oh, oh, again. How does this happen? Uh, law basically makes it so you don't want to be a white hat. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, uh, I, unless the company sanctions it, I guess. Like, w there's, there's various, uh, I, I appreciate some of the big tech companies do have a, like, a proper, um, you know, like, avenue for finding these kinds of bugs or vulnerabilities or submitting them to them. Like, they, they open themselves up for that. Uh, these emails come after Bleeping Computer repeatedly tried to warn the Internet Archive that their source code was stolen through a GitLab authentication token that was exposed online for almost two years. Yeah, oh, yeah, never commit your auth tokens. If you ever commit an auth token, you should, one, probably know about it, and two, well, hopefully you know about it, and two, recycle them. Never let your auth tokens last for longer than, I'd, I'd argue six months. Um, three months if you really want to be safe. One year if you're really impatient. Or, yeah, one year if you really don't have time. But try doing six months. Because that forces... Yeah. Uh, say I find out about super basic SQL injection. Uh, I'm reasonably sure I'll be able to make my case that checking if basic SQL injection works on a service I use is like checking if the seatbelt in a taxi. Yes, exactly that. And... I, like, I personally don't think there's anything wrong with doing exploitation like that. Like, obviously, you know, breaching into a system is, like, they, they can claim that's something bad, but I'm like, the breaching into the system on its own, and not mentally retaining any info, I think is perfectly fine. The company should be, like, if you do ever do that, make sure that the company that you do that to knows that, hey, you could do it via this method. But yeah, yeah. Let's be overt. These breaches are telling us that the IA team might be incompetent. Yeah, that's what I worry about. Um, and it's strange because, like, the actual service they provide is fairly all right. But I don't know why we've had two in a row. And the DDoSing as well, where it's like, I'm not saying... <sighs> DDoSing is like, DDoSing is just DDoSing. It's always going to happen and everyone is going to get hit by it at some point. Like doing something so the one uh could be re argued that uh, me checking the company is doing the basic to protect my data well the thing the thing with the internet archive is ultimately hold on let me actually see i'm gonna click on the link i'm clicking on links in twitch chat heck yeah um but yeah let me let me try to does this article say exactly what they breached because for me like, salted passwords is kind of annoying, but one, I don't reuse passwords anywhere, and my screen names and my email accounts are, like, super duper obvious. I don't find that's, like, I do hate that being linked and people finding the existence of an account, I guess, which is always a, a bad thing. Uh, uh, the Zendesk. Ah, uh, yeah. But yeah, yeah, like... Ah. Uh, like, Internet Archive hopefully should be a site that you don't have real sensitive information, but... 8 million people got emails in their mail from... Ah, oh, rip! Ah... Oh. Yeah, I... Uh, if people are doing more than the, the usual, then... Oh, we didn't even see this. <laughs> Look at this without the textures on. Ooh. One guy on Reddit saying he had to share his ID to confirm... Ah... Oh. Okay, I never used Zendesk. At least I had that. But... Yeah, I hate it. There's actually... There's a... I, I, I realized, like, a massive... Um, problem recently. What was it? This sparked a bit of a discussion on the TAS video, so... Ooh. Um, I, f I found a problem recently where... Uh, I needed to make a, a temporary Google account for work. And, uh, you need to put in a phone number into Google. And I put, like, I'm like, I don't have a burner number. Like, what is this? So, I recently saw a post about one company who had merged some account systems after a recent acquire or something. And then because they couldn't migrate the password, so I sent their customers emails telling them to please change their password. Told them the default password was their email. Oh, yes! Yes! I, I heard that. That actually came up on, like, the level one for, uh, level one, was it level one show? That's what they call it. Um, but yeah, that came up. That is insane. Uh... 
Uh, I'm not in the test video server, no, no. So I, I, I don't know specifically what's going on there, but I, there's so, I think it, it is good for everyone to be super duper careful about, some people really think not far and do that. Side note, by the way, you're about to invite me to a Discord. I'm like, Discord is, uh, like, what's the term? It's, it's a spike trap waiting to go off. The amount of association and long, long-term persistence on Discord really terrifies me. Discord will absolutely crumble if it ever has any, like, vulnerability. If it ever has any insane exploit. It already has a mild problem of people archiving literally everything. It's not a massive problem, because it's like, well, you could just join the server and see it. So it's not like they're seeing anything they can't see. But they can, in a heartbeat, archive it all. So it's like, oh, everything you've said on Discord is gonna probably be there. Um, but yeah, I like, the other thing is, like, there's, you know, I hate Discord as, like, a replacement for forums. Because it's like, I want something super duper detached from everything. for or In, like, most use cases. I don't need to be this, like, one personality or, or, like, persona going around the internet all being the same thing. So it's like... Discord does not make it very easy to browse via different accounts. I'd probably say the the saving grace is you can use Discord in a browser. You can use like Firefox's multi-account containers to make it very easy to have different personalities as you go across the internet. But oh boy, I was in a server that was just deleted by the creator out of nowhere. Oh yeah, yeah. The other problem of, for of forums on Discord is it's very easy to delete. Hopefully someone archived it in that case, but yeah, it's very easy for an admin to just, eh, it's gone. Now granted, other forums are like that as well, but usually one person is responsible for deletion, and most people aren't. So, uh, I'd like the most used art site to be something better than Twitter. Yeah, I, I mean, for me, I hope that the best art site becomes like... Uh, things on the Fediverse, so like Miss Key instances or things like that. If you're an artist, you know, you should have the ability to host your own code, or host your own art like that, or um, maybe, you know, a collection of people who host their own art. It does involve more work than just posting it publicly on Twitter, and obviously exposure is always tricky. Most forums can be archived by Wayback. That is true. Um, except for the when Wayback went down last week, then it couldn't. <laughs> um, there are things like Archivebox. You can self-host your own sort of Wayback machine. Uh, archive box uses a ton of storage. Just, just keep that in mind. Well, depending on how many times you poke websites or things like that, but uh, just note that. But you yeah, know, archive box is cool, and there's there's actually a, a handful of alternatives as well. Had a discussion about alternatives to Twitter, uh, also on task videos. People thought Mastodon was dead. Mastodon is not dead. Ma well, the Fediverse is not dead. The Fediverse is pretty alright, but in the same way that people are doing an exodus of Twitter. Uh, which, I, I love how I saw someone say, we're doing an exodus, but don't feel like you have to leave Twitter permanently. Like, just join both. And I'm like, well, it's not an exodus in that case. Um, but... These other sites... Actually, I think Blue Sky ad, like... The, they shot up, it's like, oh look! Like, a million people joined in like two days, and... That's kind of big, but... How many, you know, how many people use Threads? Threads... It, threads is, like, not floundering. Because it's still got people and users, but Threads is a small network. Uh, Blue Sky is a small network. Um, Parlor's a small network. There's lots of like, eh. there's always these like, ah, oh, let's move away from the big things. And most people don't commit. I know I'm most, pe I'm not most people because I've actually like <laughs> properly committed to talking on on the Feddy. But yeah, Threads doesn't allow, yeah, Threads doesn't allow not safe for work. Blue Sky is rather censorious and does have AI training uh, like as a goal. The Fetty is hard for people to understand and sometimes they feel they get no exposure and just get like turned off because of that. I actually feel like I get better exposure on the Fetty than Twitter. So, um... Oh, Tomb Raider post management. True, I should probably trap someone in the... I'm actually just gonna like rush forward a little bit, although I'll probably end the stream in a few minutes. Um... I forgot where the key is. Oh yeah, candles. <laughs> it's always the candles. Um, I don't know, Blue Sky was- Yeah, Blue Sky is- is... Decently 
sense of happy. Um, at least relatively more than Twitter is right now. Um... Nice chapter. Um... Pistol, then. Um, I don't think they use it for censorship, but I think they are training a model, or train, well, not a model, training multiple models to, um, you know, base off user posts, which, I, uh, honestly, I, Cat is out of the bag when it comes to that. I don't think you could truly stop people from training AIs. Uh, did these masks ever get used for anything, by the way? Japanese. Wooden voodoo mask. I don't think they did. <laughs> they were just there. Hmm. Uh... But yeah, like, I don't think one should ever put their eggs too too far into one basket. Like, always always have a backup social media. Like, you know, it, it's, it's always there for whatever. There's a guy I follow on Twitter. He gets banned literally, like, every month. He's got an account on, on the Fetty. He posts there sometimes, but he likes baiting people on Twitter, and that's all fine. That's his prerogative. Um, but yeah, people went from Twitter to Blue Sky were like Mega Mind. <laughs> yeah, sort of. And uh, if you do enjoy Blue Sky, by the way, don't let me like drag it down for you. Like, I don't think it's actually like a bad thing to be trying out a different social media network. And you know, is any is any one of them perfect? Like, probably not. Newgrounds has always been fairly good. Newgrounds. The reason why Newgrounds is good is because it actually has, like, a real solid, like, rate your content correctly approach. And therefore, it generally pushes kids away from communicating with adults. Which is something that every single one of these social media sites fails to do very well. Um, like, there's, there's such a, a gaping hole. Like, I know they've got, you know, not safe for work tags. People skim past not safe for work tags, but the moment you go, hey, this is for teens, this is for mature, this is adult only, you really, like, make that distinction and you really try to, like, quarantine, you know, the adult content from anything else. Newgrounds feels new because it's got its own, like, the style is great, and, uh... They've generally kept the technologies up to date, so when Flash died, it's like they have a, like, a Flash player that works in the browser that you know, seems to be pretty smooth. I'm nearly about to die there, oh my gosh. Um, it's in the name, it's not all grounds. Yeah, exactly. And there's lots of, I mean, there's lots of places that are, you know, I guess relics of the old internet. Like, they existed there in a pre-YouTube, pre-Facebook kind of you know, sphere, where they're very large, but, you know, somehow they never, you know, became, they never became Reddit. I think it's weird that these guys never appeared after this chapter, these robots. Yeah, Congre yeah congregate, die. congregate sold out. <laughs> I'm just saying, when they, when you sell out, it may happen. It'll happen to you. It'll happen to me. Like... It's a shame. Yeah, armor games is neat. Yeah, it's a shame, but it does inevitably happen to almost every site that does like IPO or get like hey. someone else to buy it. What do we do? <laughs> but basically, necromancy. Yeah, yeah. Coolum Astar in. Won't budge. Locked. But, yeah, Congregate's worth... Oh, yeah, Congregate was... Congregate was an OG, uh, achievement site. Not exactly retro achievements in style. You had to, like, write it into your game. Um, but certainly, I, the culture of, like, having achievements in your own kind of site, I thought that was pretty cool. And it was done quite seamlessly. It actually worked, like, real nicely. Newgrounds, uh, probably these days, yeah. I don't think there was ever a game I really knew that was on, like, Congregate, but not Newgrounds as well. This is weird. What on earth is this all about? 
Dude, what if he actually died in this chair and then he was just in, or in the psych ward afterwards? Or he wouldn't have died and then been in the psych ward. As in, he, he got crazy because of being in the chair. Uh, for me, I remember a lot of Flash games, but only the later ones were really good. The earlier ones were too boring. There's a lot of real simple Flash games. I think there's a, a novelty to how lots of older ones uh, went. Um, I always think, like, me being a six-year-old playing Pico may have been the best and worst thing that I ever did on the internet. Because that, uh, that game is not for six-year-olds. But, um... <laughs> I digress. Certainly, like, knowing what is quality and what's not. At least in terms of Flash games. And yeah, yeah, you're right, where it's like... Uh, I forgot the key over here. Oh yeah, exactly. I, I mean, there's lots of... Like, Meat Boy used to be a Flash game. Alien Hominid was a Flash game. Um, I'm trying to think of another one that was, like, real big and popular. I'm pretty sure, uh... Was it Castle Crashers? Was, uh... The dev did, um... Flash games before. Uh, Angry Birds, uh, was actually a complete clone of Crush the Castle, and people keep forgetting that, but... I remember it. Creeper War, yeah, Creeper War was a Flash game. Um... There's so many good Flash games, and so that that whole culture, I think it deserves to, you know, it deserves to exist and it deserves to flourish to some degree. Thank God for Flashpoint and Ruffle. Yeah, exactly, exactly. A lot of the internet is is preserved. So, we don't have to worry too much about all of it being lost. Um, hopefully as well, people have archives and just like things like that of all of this somewhere. Oh, you can just, just walk past them. Uh, I think that's why I never liked Angry Birds because it was... I, I like Crush the Castle more. Crush the Castle felt a lot more immediate to me. Angry Birds just feels like... Kind of arbitrarily, like they have to touch the ground, whereas Crush the Castle was like, no, touch the ground, you, they're, they're out, they're done. Yeah, I could probably speedrun this game at some point. Anyways, I'll call it there because otherwise I'm going to ramble on forever. So. I'd like to, yeah, 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 I literally started a new game, I'm like, oh, I'm just gonna, like, see how far I go. We've been done for, like, 40 minutes, I've just been chatting then, so, doing a speed run. Ah, uh, if only, if only, if only. Well, anyways, thank you, everyone, for watching. If you enjoyed this, or you didn't enjoy this, you guys probably enjoyed it. Um, yeah, you can, well, you guys are following, but, yeah, if, you, if you're someone else who's watching along, uh, who's probably not on Twitch, because there's only, <laughs> the viewers are chatting this time, uh, then, uh, yeah, you can subscribe on or follow on YouTube. Stream at 8.30 p.m. Australian Eastern Daylight on every Monday. There is still one more week of Halloween, by the way. I don't know what I'm going to do for it. I got to figure that out. Um, but, uh, yeah. And, um... No, no, it's not a post-game mansion. That was just literally it again. Starting from the beginning. <laughs> um, and, uh, yeah, uh, you can follow on YouTube. We're, we're almost... We're actually really almost at, like, 2,000 subs. I'm at 1993. This very second. So, if you're not subscribed on YouTube, then you can help contribute to my arbitrary number. And you can follow me on the Fetty at m.bnd.com, where I say some things here and there. Yep. If we can find me on the Fettyverse. Yes, that's the one. So, anyways, and get this game. Get this game on sale. It's great fun. So, have a, have a romp playing through it. Anyways, thank you guys. Peace.